What's happening, everybody? Welcome to episode 156 of the Games and Guns podcast. My name is Sonny G, and I'm here as always with Finn Steele. Hello. And Steve. Good evening. And we're back. We're, we're back. We took a week we're off. Back. And we're back now. Yeah, I think we, we deserve a week off. <laughs> yeah, I think we deserve a week off. First week off. You know, we've, we've sure. Literally, a whole year. Yeah. Mm. For the first yeah. time ever. It's like, yep, some weeks we've not recorded a pod, but we we have done like a live to, to make up for it. Yeah, exactly. So we've not gone a week without doing something. Yeah. Yeah. And I think we deserve a round of applause for that. I think we do, indeed. I totally agree. Yeah. Totally I mean, agree. Yeah. Yeah, so we deserved a week off, I think, and I don't really feel like there was that much to talk about last week, and yeah, it was a little bit last minute, but who cares? This is our podcast. Yeah. We yeah. do what we want. <laughs> Pretty much. Hell yeah. So I've changed positions today, as you might be able to see. You have indeed. Yes. You're kind of see. diagonal. Yeah. I'm going to be sort of moving things around, hmm. um, moving forward a little bit. Uh, just yeah, just to just to change things up a little, make a bit more mm. of a, a permanent podcast space for nice. myself. That sounds good. Sounds good. So yeah, over the next couple of weeks, you start to see me moving around a little bit more, and then after I after my wedding, then I'll sort of hopefully find a permanent home for myself. Sweet. That sounds good. Yeah, absolutely. Um, just a couple of things actually before we we do start. Uh, it mm. was great to be back at Wrestling and Hinkley this past Saturday. Awesome. Uh, really yeah. great turnout. Really good show. Great to see everybody. Everybody in such high spirits, uh, especially with it being our first show back uh, after COVID. But it was great. You know, it was really good to see everybody. And uh, it just felt so good to be to be back again. Yeah. Back in front of people. Yeah, to be back around it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. It was just so good. And the crowd were great. And yeah, everybody was, you know, followed COVID protocol or whatever. And yeah, it was good stuff, man. Really, really good. Back again on the 18th of December for the Christmas Rumble. Nice. And the show that we just did is going to be on Powered 4 TV real soon because it's done already, which Sweet. is crazy. Um, mm-hmm. Top Rope Media, Will from Top Rope Media is just unbelievable. Top draw, great editing, always does such an awesome job. Same goes uh, for from the cow- from the crowd photography. Really, really good mm. stuff. All the images from the show are on social media and stuff. So, yeah, go check out that show on Powered Four TV. It was really good. You could hear me doing commentary on it. And yeah, just wanted to thank everybody involved with wrestling in Hinkley from this past weekend. It was awesome. Can't wait to be back again in December. Awesome. Yep. Yeah. Really good show. Really good. Yeah, it was, really it was good, man. Really, really good. You were, uh, of course, in the crowd with Bearded Buffoon. Good to see you both. Yeah, yeah, it was. Uh, it was good. It was good to catch up with uh, with Bearded Buffoon as well. And I haven't seen him for well, way before even the pandemic, I think. Wow. So uh, yeah. it was great to see him, and we had a good catch up, and we had a really good, a really good laugh at the uh, at the wrestling. But we were respectful at the same time because we uh, we appreciate the art. So uh, you would obviously got, you know, dads there with their kids who, you know, are like, hey, oh, is that is that WWD? And uh, yeah, um, <laughs> they were they were having a bit of fun, having a bit of back and forth with the uh, with the talent, so to speak. And uh, yeah. Yeah, it was good fun. It was good fun. Nice. Yeah. And, and Phil, were you working on Saturday? I sure was. Oh, man. Mr. Good Show, man. Come yeah. to the Rumble. Yeah, I'll try and get that day off and uh, yeah, come to the next one. Yeah, but then you can sit next to me and just do fucking commentary <laughs> like I told you to do. Next time, next time. Okay, <laughs> next time. As in McAfee, come on, let's do it. Yeah. At the Rumble, okay. I want you there next to me doing commentary. Okay, I promise. I'll be there. Unless I'm dead okay. or... Okay, well, it's promise now. You can't, you can't... It's a promise. <laughs> it's recorded. That's a promise. Can't break a promise. You too. Can't break a promise. I'll be there. Look okay. forward to that, people. He's going to be there. Finn Steele's going to be there. Oh, yeah. So if there's ever <laughs> a good reason to go buy tickets, it's that. Yeah. You can meet... Finn Steele in the flesh. Yeah, hell yeah, yeah. In the flesh. No, no autographs. <laughs> ten, he'll, ten sign your, he'll, he'll sign your autograph. Ten, ten you pounds an autograph. autograph. What the fuck? Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> so. Like, Hooven, Hooven to Guerrero? <laughs> I know, yeah. Hooven to Guerrero is like 
charging for autographs. Loads of wrestlers charge for autographs. If I was like Weird famous, it. I don't think I would ever charge for an autograph. No. I'd feel cheeky no. it's just writing your name on a fucking piece of paper for a child. Yeah, it's, it's dumb, isn't it? Or a man child, whichever. <laughs> a mild. <laughs> <Yeah>. Mild. Mild. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what's everyone been doing in the week since we last sort of did a podcast Finn, well, I, I imagine you've been just mainly working uh, yeah pretty much mainly my shit job yeah cool yeah. I'm sure your employers would really appreciate that uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah I've been doing my shit job my, yeah my shit job my employers can suck my dick oh, oh shit I'm no, straight no. in there with it. Zero to 100. <laughs> he is. Something's gone off yeah. at the co-op. It is fuming. It's Look popping at it. off at the co-op. That's what's, what's going on. Overworked, underpaid. It's bullshit. Oh. Come at me, co-op. Well, this is the, this is the this is the forum. <laughs> this is obviously the forum to wear your grievances. It really is. Don't shop at the co-op. It sucks. Um, oh. well, just Without people shopping at the co-op, you don't get a job. <laughs> These are the thoughts of Finn Steele and not of the Games and Grass podcast. <laughs> <laughs> nice hey, people. If Finn Steele says fuck the co op, fuck the fucking co op. <laughs> <laughs> give a shit. To be honest, I can't remember the last time I went in there. Yeah. yeah. No, I ain't even been in the new one. I walk past and I'm going to spit on it next time. <laughs> yeah. That's what I'm going to do. I never spit because it's disgusting, but I will spit on the co op because Finn says fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> Pay Finn Steel more, goddammit. Yes. Yeah, and suck his dick. What? Yeah, Wait, what? <laughs> yeah he, he asked. <laughs> he asked for it. Come on. The CEO of the co op, Mr. Co op. Mr. Co op, yeah, that's, that's the guy. Yeah. Nice guy. Yeah. I think his first name's Couch. And. Um... Love it. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, okay, Couch Co op. <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> Finn, it took you long enough. <laughs> oh. oh, Couch Co op, I get it. Oh, man. Uh, well, Finn's clearly fuming. Yeah, we know is. what Greg Steele's been doing. He's been watching True Lies. Yeah. You told us this in the Discord earlier on. Yeah, it's a while ago, but yeah, me and my uh, me, me and my mum came back from a walk into town. I mean, that was just there, sitting there. It was True Lies, and it was uh, that scene where, uh, uh, of course, it was the pole dancing. <laughs> and he was like, "Oh, Jamie Lee Curtis." Yeah, that's the one. Jamie Curtis pole dancing. We're like, "Oh, well, you see what we get when we're not here." He's like, "Oh no, no, it's watching a movie film." <laughs> okay, well, look, okay. here's the thing, right? <laughs> That is a great movie, Good but movie. most importantly, that's a great scene from that movie. Jamie Lee Curtis is in her prime there, oh. and you know Stop. Arnie's a very lucky boy getting to sit there and witness that. <laughs> really, is fair play. Do you reckon he had a boner while that was going on? I not well, Arnie, dad, Arnie, yeah. Arnie. <laughs> uh, probably. I wouldn't, I, wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't be surprised. I wouldn't blame him. I mean, I think I would have. <laughs> you say. <laughs> Steve, do you think you would have? 100%. Yeah. I've got one now thinking about it. <laughs> <laughs> you see this camera rise up in a minute, it's because the table's going, I'm not that. <laughs> As you know. <laughs> Just look, no, there's too big a gap, sorry. <laughs> uh, big, big, up, big up Greg Steele for, uh, for still big fighting the Greg. good fight. <laughs> you keep going, sir. Yeah, you keep going, sir. We appreciate <laughs> your service to being an awesome man. <laughs> And I'll message you some really good scenes from other movies <laughs> that you can partake in viewing whilst um, Mr. and Mrs. Steele, mother and son, not mother and husband, are out of the house. Yeah, it's Particularly the that. Jamie Lee Curtis uh, scene from, uh, oh, I always forget the name, the film with, with Dan Aykroyd where he has to become poor and... Trading Places? Trading Places. Mm, That's a great yeah. film. Yeah, and there's a particular scene with Jamie Lee Curtis there that's fantastic. Bit of a theme here, <laughs> Jamie Lee Curtis. She's fit, or was? Well, you know, she probably still is. I mean, I've seen the yeah. latest Halloween, well, the the one before the newest Halloween movie, and she, you know, she still it's looks like it. Jamie Lee Curtis. She's not True yeah. Lies peak Jamie Lee Curtis, but, you know. No, no. Take nothing away I from mean, her. Age is just oh. a number. We're not oil paintings, are we? So let's uh, probably. Well, move you on. Speak, for speak, yourself, yeah, <laughs> speak for yourself. Speak for yourself. You've seen me, jeez. Probably the best looking <laughs> one I hear, but you know, <laughs> I'm trying. To, I'm just trying to downplay it for myself, All right? <laughs> okay. Well, fair enough. You you keep being modest. I am. I'm humble. So humble. <laughs> you are humble. <laughs> 
Steve, what have you been doing uh, while Finn Steele's been absolutely seething? Twisting my other ankle. Ooh. God damn it, Ouch. man. What is going on? Fucking useless is what I am. <laughs> Um, I genuinely think it was the trainers I was wearing, so they've been lobbed in the bin. Yeah. Um, nice. They just weren't very, very stable. So yeah, it wasn't as bad as the as the last injury. Uh, I was about and walking after about two or three days. Uh, I mean, I am in uh, quite a lot of pain still with both of them. Ouch. So uh, yeah, this that's great fun. But aside from uh, aside from my biscuit ankles, um, <laughs> just been playing. Which we'll come on to, obviously. Been playing, doing a bit of gaming. I was going to say, don't like watching, spoil the segment. Yeah. I've, I've not told you what I've been playing. Blowing right? your wads, like before no, we've no, even no. got there. No, it's it's a precursor. It's a pre- it's, precursor. It's, it's, okay. Well, all right. It's, it's the precum. It's the precum. It's yeah. the precum. Oh, <laughs> um, okay. <laughs> um, well, somebody watching True Lies. Yeah. yeah. Mister GS. Um, yeah. <laughs> 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 Love you, Mr. Steele. Um, <laughs> got onto the Squid Game uh, hype train. Not oh. finished it yet, though. Oh. Uh, I've got, I've, got, I've, got the last, I've, got, I've got the last one to watch. It's good, I though, right? After this podcast. Yeah, yeah. It, it was. I was enjoying it more once I changed it from the English dubbed over to the you know Korean with the English subtitles. Okay. Because the, dub, the dubbed over English is awful and makes it just... It, it changes it from a... When it's got the English... Uh, voice acting dubbed over. It sounds like a sounds like a terrible video game, and it makes it almost made it a bit of a comedy. And I was sat there thinking, "Am I missing something?" Now I thought this was supposed to be like an edgy, violent sort of thing, and I thought it was hilarious. And, I th- and then I remembered like the Raid, which is a great mm-hmm. film. Great film, really good film. Both the, the, one and but, two but the, best action movies of all time. Yeah, brilliant. But but the the, the dubbed over English is terrible. <laughs> so you're better to watch it in its native language with the English subtitles. I've enjoyed it a lot more. So. That's fair enough. I mean, we watched it with the English dub because Kaylee's not great with um, right. the uh, the foreign language and the English subs. Basically, she can't be asked yeah. to read. And that's fair enough. <laughs> We've been told. Um, so. But usually, I would sort of uh, watch the raid. I think it's Indonesian. Is it the raid? Poss- possibly. Something yeah. like that, isn't it? It's not Korean. It's not Chinese. It's not Japanese. I think it's, I think it's Indonesian. I'm not sure. But either way, great film. Go watch it. Definitely watch great, it. Great film. Uh, but yeah, we watched it English dubbed, and to be honest, I didn't hate it. Um, I didn't hate it. I just thought, I think this will be better with subtitles. So I've given it, and I have enjoyed it more, you know, since. Hey, I, the since most I important thing is that you enjoyed it, no matter how you watch it. Yeah, it's good. It's a, it's a. I'd say it, I wouldn't say it's an original concept, but I like the idea of, around it. You know, about how they yeah. play kids. I mean, it's certainly not an original it's, concept. It's very sort of battle yeah, royale, no, isn't it? Battle royale, yeah, and yeah. Hunger Games ish, and you know yeah. that sort of thing. Um, granted, I haven't seen all of it yet. I haven't seen the last episode, but um, people need to just probably call their jets by saying it's the best TV show ever. Look, it's had one. It's had one season. Uh, the Sopranos and Breaking Bad says hello. So, <laughs> you know, let's uh, let's just call our jets and see what happens. But it's it's good. It's very good. Hmm. Finn, I think you'd enjoy it. Yeah, probably. I've seen it. Yeah, I think you would I've seen it everywhere on yeah. online. People are talking about it. Yeah. 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 Wait for the hype to die down a bit and then jump on it. Yeah, yeah just watch it at your own leisurely pace. Right? Don't watch Ooh. it because the internet tells you to watch it. Don't be because, it, yeah. Yeah, just watch it whenever you want to watch it. And it is very good. I enjoyed it. Looking forward to a second season whenever that happens. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, it was great. I watched a good film on Netflix last night, actually. It was a Jake Gyllenhaal movie. It's so like a new one. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Called, I think it's in called, uh, called The Guilty. He plays like a, a call center operative. But he's white. He's like a... He's a Yes, he's, he's, yeah. a, he's a disgraced police officer. He's done something. He's got a court appearance today after this film is set, and yeah, he takes a call and gets too invested. It's really good. Only an hour and a half, which is a good, acceptable length for a movie. Don't need yeah. to be longer than that. Yeah, these no. four-hour movies can go die. Yeah, I mean, sometimes <laughs> films can be way too long. Yeah, like Days Gone. That's a game, but it's way too long. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Seven hours too long, I, I would say. Like I said in the Discord earlier on today, Days Gone seven hours too long. Some films they could easily shave half an hour, forty minutes off. Yeah, yeah. Like, there's quite a lot of films, isn't there? Like an episode I think a lot, a lot of your Marvel films, especially. Um, I think, yeah, I think sometimes that could be the case I mean, with, with them. I think there's probably a, a lot of story to sort of explain in terms yeah. of because they're taking it from a already lifting it from a source material. Mm. Yeah. But you know, yeah. Titanic doesn't need to be three hours, does it? <laughs> no. 
No. Well, people bought a boat. People have some dinner. Boat sinks. Film over. <laughs> what? Well, spoilers. Have you not seen it? Calm down. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. I didn't mean to. Uh, <laughs> I didn't mean to ruin Titanic for you there. <laughs> I'm sorry. Look, I'm sorry. I'm off. We'll um, see you later. Look, it's <laughs> worth watching. There's a really good bit where Leonardo DiCaprio paints Kate Winslet, and um, it's a really good painting. Yeah. No other reason, just that. It's just a really good painting. I think you did a great job. Yeah, it's a re- it's a really good painting. Um, really, yeah. really good. Yeah, I like what she's not wearing. Yep, <laughs> I would say that's um, yep, that's a, a definitely a defining pi- um, piece of that particular drawing. <laughs> attractive woman, very attractive, Kate Winslet. Beautiful, yeah. Beautiful, yeah, stunning. Really, really good. Yep. Like a young bird, Reno. Reno. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Um, what have you cool. been to? To be honest, I've been doing the wrestling stuff. So I've been wrestling. Awesome. Did, uh, did some commentary for Full Force, uh, which is going to hit Powered 4 TV soon as well. Check that out. It was good. Uh, then I did Hinkley, and then I've just been just been chilling. You know, we've got so much to do. I say chilling. We've been doing a lot because we've got a wedding to, you know, in just a couple of weeks' time. So we've been doing stuff for that and just trying to get everything ready. And time just seems to be passing by real quick. So just, you know, just keeping myself busy. But I missed doing yeah. the podcast last week, but we needed a week off, I yeah. think. I think it was good for the podcast to have a week off. Yeah. And we deserve some annual leave. <laughs> we, we, we do. do. We do. Quite <laughs> yeah, we requested. Took- we took some podcast annual leave. You're gonna get, you get a little bit. Yeah, you get, you do get a bit. You get less you now than you used to. I mean, we used to take yeah. a lot of annual leave, but now we like <laughs> yeah. we took one week. Yeah, one week, one week. Yeah, year, I think it's acceptable. I think, la- I think last year you two took probably about nine months annual leave. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we did. We took a lot of annual leave. Last month. Look, we accrued the time. Yeah, you've accrued we, we, it. Yeah. We, we'd accrued it, you've so there's a bit it, of flexi yeah. time in there. Also, we took <laughs> the annual leave that we, you know, that we were entitled to. Well, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. It's only fair. <laughs> Absolutely, it's only yeah. fair. <laughs> well, I agree. It is only fair. You know, we're working hard. We're grafting two hours a week, yeah. at best. At <laughs> best, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and, but look, we're back. We're here for another week. We've got a good show lined up. The Eliminator's back. Well, the Eliminator pub quiz style. Guess who doesn't have a pen and paper? Me. <laughs> also me <laughs> this guy right here have a sharpie but, look, we got through it last time and we'll, we'll just we'll get through it again it's yes. so... look I forgot that it was happening okay <laughs> I know that we spoke about it in the games and graps whatsapp group that we've got yeah but I just forgot yeah I don't know where the hell my pens are gone I had two pens and it's gone all gone out to sharpie maybe maybe they're on pen island uh maybe maybe yeah. Can we have the drum roll for there, please? Uh, yes, hold on. Let uh, me say it again. Don't blow you up. <laughs> Re- let me know when you're ready. I'm ready. Maybe they're on Penn Island. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had a list my hand. I couldn't reach. <laughs> God damn it, dude. This is the best podcast of all time. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Easily. We are less than 20 minutes in, and we've talked about how fit Jamie Lee Curtis is. Um, Finn wants his dick sucked. Yep, by the co-op, couch co-op, Squid Game, Squid, yeah, or whatever it's called, Squidward, um, <laughs> and uh, and Greg's and other stuff. Yeah, other stuff. This, this, this is, is the per- it's the perfect start to a podcast. It is. This is this is the kind of content you get when we take a week off because we yeah. have so much to talk about <laughs> because of the stuff that we've done during that week. But we lead exciting lives outside of these like four podcasting walls. Mm. And we have to come yeah, and tell yeah. you about them. And look how exciting it is. 20 minutes, we haven't even talked about video games or wrestling. Yeah. We talked a little bit of local wrestling, but not properly. <laughs> Best podcast of all time. Finn. Hello. What have you been playing? What well, indeed. Uh, seamless. Seamless. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> So this week, I've been on a bit of a uh, retro kick in a minute. Played um, Super Metroid on the via the Super Nintendo Online on Switch, which not is not plus expansion pack. Not plus expansion, <laughs> but not, not yet, not yet, not yet. Maybe soon. Soon though. Yeah. I mean, th- in the next two weeks, if Nintendo were to be believed. Yeah, that'd be cool. Which they're not. <laughs> a couple months. Couple months then. Um, yeah. <laughs> but yeah. October twenty twenty two. Yeah, <laughs> sounds about right. Uh, but no, really good. Holds up really well. Um, it's a game that was uh, like way ahead of its time back in the day. 
Mm -hmm. um, yeah, literally invented the genre and just a really, really good game. Um, so I finished, went, well, I played through that. Quite a short game, to about uh, seven hours or so. Quite a short game. Yeah. Um, and now, by, by today's standards, by, today's by days gone standards, that's a short game. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And now I'm jumped onto the next one, which is Metroid Fusion on the Game Boy Advance, which I'm playing on my GameCube. Is that the one adapter. that you were streaming? Or... Uh, no, that was the first. That was a remake of the first game, which was Metroid Zero Mission. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, again, very good. Um, this one's a lot more linear. It kind of tells you where you got to go, where to the one where normally it's like, Figure it out. <laughs> you start your game, just just go, do. Yeah. <laughs> Play the game. We're not going to tell you the buttons. <laughs> We're not even going to tell you what this game's about. Just go and do it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, this one's a lot more uh, focused, which is good. Um, and yeah, other than that, a bit more cycle. Are you building up to Metro Dread? Is that what you're doing? Exactly, yeah. The Metro Dread. I have, I've bought it. I have it. It's ready to play. Uh, I'm trying to get through the old games. The did you ben. Did you buy like a special edition or did you buy the normal one? Just normal. Okay. I wanted to get the Amiibos, but then sold out. Thanks, Scalpers. Good luck with that. Yeah, dude. Because why it? make more? Yeah, we'll make twelve. <laughs> That'd be fine. That'd be enough. <laughs> yeah, we'll make we'll, we'll make twelve. We'll sell them to them at normal price, and then these people can go and sell them for stupid money. Because <laughs> hey, why make more? Why why just do a plastic mold of Samus? <laughs> you know, a gazillion times for people to buy. Yeah. Nah. We hate you know why? Nintendo. Yeah. That's why. We're Nintendo. They hate money. I don't get it. Because fuck you. That's why. Because we, you know, we Nintendo. We don't need money. Yeah. <laughs> we're Nintendo. We do what we want. Damn it. Yeah. Fuck your amiibos. Here's plus expansion pack. <laughs> yeah. That's where your money's going. Yep. Is yeah. Good stuff. Uh, what else? Played more uh, Second Order Two. I'm playing it that still. Nice. Um. Still really good. And I'm trying to think what else I've been playing. That's about it, to be fair. We're very Metroid heavy. You play a bit, a bit of like Mario, Super Mario World on the Nintendo Switch Online thing, which is still good. Not plus expansion. Not plus back. expansion back, just regular. Because <laughs> um, I never, yep. I never actually finished uh, Mario World. So I might play through that at some point. Okay. And uh, yeah, also yeah, I was played a game on the NES uh, ex expansion, not expansion pack, just regular. Uh, called yeah, not expand, not plus expansion pack, <laughs> just regular. Uh, called SCAT, S C A T, SCAT. <laughs> it stands um, for Special Command like, Action. Like poo? Yeah. yeah <laughs> like, exactly like, like poo. poo. <laughs> but no, it's just, I suppose it's, it's something more like Special Command like, Action Team or something stupid. I don't think it does. <laughs> yeah, they knew the, what they were doing. Um, which <laughs> SCAT. Yeah. <laughs> it's a funny name, I'm going to give this a play. You know what? It's all right. It's like a side scrolling oh, shooter. Man. Very basic. But... <laughs> Yeah, I spin up the whole game. I'm a scat man. He used to do like a bit of talking as well, didn't he? And it's maybe the man with the man with the man with the man with And it was like in that pattern, I don't know the words. Yeah. Scat man can do it, so can you. There you go. Oh, Scat man John. Is he still alive? No. Who knows? He's not, unfortunately. Oh, rest in peace, Scat man John. Sad. Yeah. I think he did like one other song. Yeah, it was terrible. Was it Scat Scatland or something like that? Yeah, I'm a Scatland. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, when you do that kind of music, I think you're fairly limited to the amount of songs you can bring out. Yeah, yeah. Because the novelty sort of wears off right after one song, especially when your name is Scat. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Best podcast of all time. Exactly. Sorry, Finn, you were talking about scat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's a fun basic shooter. Um, check it out. Check out some scat. <laughs> check out the scat. <laughs> Don't Google it. Do not Google, Don't Google it. it. <laughs> Don't Google scat. Just, just go on the switch. You will not like what comes up. Just... Don't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on this go on the switch and look for some cat. <laughs> <It'll be fine. laughs> uh yeah. Plus 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 expansion scat. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> Jesus. Oh man. Cool. Uh, I think that's funny about it. I don't remember now. <laughs> but yeah, second order Metroid and Scat. 
Let's put him top and play this week. Uh, yeah, so are you, Steve? Playing any scat this week? I've, I've been playing loads of scat this week. Loads of scat games. Um, scat games? You made it even worse. Fucking so messy. Let's <laughs> have all the windows open a lot. Just... <laughs> um, oh. oh, God. Best podcast ever. Descended into shit, 25 minutes. Yep. Literally. <laughs> Literally, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man oh, oh dearie me good stuff so what have i been playing so in terms of new games i've been playing nba 2k 22 nice uh, what a fantastic game yeah just unbelievable like, yeah i don't need to bang on about what it does and how good it is and everything it's just amazing just looks amazing the presentation is fantastic and uh yeah it's a massive game as well <laughs> yeah huge, huge. so much to do there's, there's loads to do. There's like I've barely scratched the surface. Uh, I mean, I'm I'm pretty terrible at the game, uh, but it's one of those you 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 get into it, don't you? And uh, I've had I've had some really really enjoyable um, games on it. You know, um, mm. matches or whatever you call it, match, wouldn't you? Um, so yeah, well, well, I've been massively behind, and then I've come back and got used to the controls and used to the you know the defending and all that, and think, oh, yeah, I'm back in this now. And then you play another game and you get. You get mullered again. And I think that's what I quite like about the basketball game, the 2K basketball game, is actually yeah. unlike some other, you know, sports sim games mm. where it's like, oh, I'm going to win this. No, I've got, it's, yeah. it's quite... Um, no games are unpre- given. Un- unpredictable. Yeah, no games no games an absolute given. Uh, no matter what sort of streak you're on, you can then just go and be absolutely terrible. Um, yeah. It makes it really competitive. So that's, uh, yeah, I've been playing that. Um, I've got Far Cry 6 to play, but I haven't touched it yet. Um, and I've just been playing a disgusting amount of Football Manager. <laughs> so uh, I am very deep into that at the moment. The new one comes out, I believe, in about two weeks. No. Uh, two is it early time? November? Is it second of November, I think I've got in my head. Yeah, so the um, week before Forza comes out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you know, the next the next month is uh, is going to be good for gaming, absolutely. Uh, I played a bit of eFootball as well. Uh, I played with I played a game uh, against you on it as yep. well. Uh, a couple of games with yourself, and then yeah. before we went somewhere. Um, where did we go? Somewhere. We went to see Jason Manford, didn't we? That's what we. That's another thing we, we did. did we went during to see Jason that Manford. I went. I went to a gig as well. I went to a gig. Yeah, they, uh, look at, that, look, that look at all the stuff that we're doing. <laughs> yeah, Jason Manford. Very funny. Really good. Very funny. Um, really, really good. Yeah, and I've been, I've been playing eFootball, and look, it's not FIFA, it's not quite Pez, but I don't think it deserves the absolute panning that it's got uh, on social media and, you know, other media outlets. Um, uh-huh. Yeah, it was a rushed release and, and all of that stuff, and you, when you see the, the screenshots and the videos and the way that some of the players look, yeah, it, that is in the game, but there's also some really, really good bits in the game as well, and some of the players, some of the players look absolutely fantastic. So yeah, I do think it's been, it's been shit on for the sake of it, basically. I think um, so. I, yeah, I, 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 for, for the most part, like I say, it's not FIFA, especially this year because FIFA 22 is really, really good. Mm-hmm. It's a, a big improvement, and look, the thing is, it's a free to play game. What more? What more do you want? Right. Yeah, and the, yeah, and they'll polish it up, they'll patch it, and they'll do whatever they need to. They know that they've ballsed up. They issued a statement saying as much. Yeah. So, yeah, it's fine. Um, out of the two, I would probably imagine I would play FIFA more. But of course, yeah. every, every, every now and then, it might be nice just to stick a game of eFootball on because uh-huh. it's there and it's free and I can. Yeah. So, yeah, but that, that's mainly been it for me gaming-wise over the last couple of weeks. Cool. Uh, I'm looking forward to getting stuck into Far Cry because, uh, from what I've seen, it looks looks pretty good. Mm. Yeah. So. Cool. Um, I have been playing Far Cry. Nice. Mm. And it's very much more Far Cry, and that's not necessarily a bad thing. You know, in fact, it's no. not a bad thing at all because the Far Cry formula, well, you could probably call it the Ubisoft formula. Yeah. Um, works very well and this is probably the yeah. best example of it um you know in in one of their video games so far you know 
standard Far Cry stuff. Great villain. Really great villain. Um, and a beautiful setting. Great gunplay. You know, and it's very much that same formula. Missions everywhere. Side missions. Cool characters. And it's just a good game. You know, it's... Yes, it is more of the same in terms of that, that Ubisoft formula. Um, but, you know, that's not, not a bad thing at all. No. no. Um, but, yeah, it's it's really good, really enjoyable. Um, there's a cool crocodile companion that goes along with you, and that, that, that rules. He's your friend, mm. and you can direct him to go and kill people when you're, when you're in combat, which is great. Nice. Uh, but, you know, you can pick other... Uh, animal companions up along the way. There's a little dog. There's, you know, this this it's a good game. It's not all about dogs and crocodiles, but yeah. it's a oh. really good game. <laughs> the the first sequence is really good. Really good way to lead you into the story. Um, I mean, look, if you're on the fence about it, it's Far Cry with new graphics and probably a bit better gameplay. Yeah, it's it's the same formula, but newer. Yeah, I like three and four a lot. So I'm, I, I can't remember games. the last. I can't remember the last one I played. I didn't really, in, really enjoy, it, but that was probably more down to my ability more than anything. <laughs> it's probably a perfectly fine game. Um, yeah, I well, can't the, remember which one it was, but you can play this. Um, so there's, there's basically when you fire the game up, there's two sort of difficulty options. There's sort of one for the story where you, yeah, you, you know, there's still combat, but your life barely goes down. Okay. And you can play through the story, but still get the same Far Cry experience just without getting killed a shit ton. And that makes it instantly more fun. It's called bitch um, mode. So if you just want to... It, it is called bitch <laughs> mode. Look, right, I I don't think there's a problem with playing video games on it. No, no, I'm joking. Of course not. <laughs> play on whatever you're comfortable with. Yeah, because uh, I think video games should be enjoyed by everybody because everybody has different abilities. Yeah, I was making a joke. <laughs> so, Steve, if you want my... Well, fuck your jokes, all right? <laughs> Take your jokes and shove them. <laughs> <laughs> the look on his face. Uh, Steve, if you want my recommendation, play it on the the story mode. Just to, um, you know, then if oh, you what, you're saying you... I'm a bitch. <laughs> yes, fuck, oh. yes, that's exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> I am a bitch when it comes you're to like, if if I bitch. if I didn't play a lot of these games on easy, I would probably never play games. <laughs> yeah, well, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, no, I play, I play no. some games on easy. Some games are, are way too difficult for me, so I just, mm. you know, don't want the aggravation. Want to just sort of breeze through a, a game, play through it for the story, and just enjoy it. But I would recommend playing it on the story difficulty. And then, if yeah. you wish to, you can change it and knock it up if it's, you know, a bit too easy for you. Um, yeah. But yeah, look, guys, go check out Far Cry Six. It is good. Um, it's like I said, it's a Ubisoft game with prettier graphics and just feels a bit newer nice yeah thank you ubisoft by the way for yes the codes. absolutely yes uh, yeah, we are 100%. all playing um far cry 6 courtesy of yeah uh, thank you. our good friends at ubisoft and we do appreciate it yes and your game is very good so yes. thank you very much and i'll be playing it this week but it's all about for next week yeah well i think we'll probably talk about it in a bit more detail once the two of you have played it because it'd be good to get yeah. the three different perspectives on it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. Um, well, we'll talk about Far Cry Six in a bit more depth next week. But you know, you see the title Far Cry, you know exactly what to expect. Yeah. If you've played one before. Yeah. Always a great villain. Always a beautiful setting. Yeah. And the game you plays, go. you know, Ubisoft. <laughs> never a bad, never a U bad game. Ubisoft game. Yeah. No. Yeah. Uh, so there you go. Yeah. So I found uh, so I found this uh, online. That's just the game. I'll oh, play. okay. <laughs> special, special. Has he got no legs? Oh yeah, it looks like. No, I think it's yeah, flying. Yeah, he's got legs. Yeah, he's like flying through the air. Has he? Yeah. But uh, yeah, special. Where are they? They're on his on his just below the torso. Uh, like he's flying. In special jetpack. cybernetic attack team. 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 Yeah. So maybe he doesn't have legs. <laughs> yeah, you can see you can see them he's just below. Just dangling below. His... You not see his foot? No. Oh, actually, hang on. <laughs> Let me get closer. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. Like an old man. Oh, I can't see it. Someone's, ne someone's nearly you? 37. Yeah. yeah, but the thing is, right, I have to, because I, I have like the, I don't have you on full screen. I have it on um, the the smaller screen so that I can play around with the different stuff that we have on screen and whatnot. Fair play. Same here, but I can see it. <laughs> no, I've got, I've got it on the on that big monitor. But anyway, yeah, yeah it, it's, uh, you couldn't, you could only just make him out, to be fair. 
So yeah, so, yeah Scat. Scat. Good game. Scat, yeah. <laughs> um they should remake it but have Scatman John as the soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> the flying dude. As soon as you fire it up, skibby dee bee bop ba bop. Press start. Bop ba da bop. Skibby dee bee bop ba da bop. Press A man. I need to be a thing now. Someone needs to make that. Mm. Yeah. We'll, we'll, we'll make it. We'll make it. with bits and bobs. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. Um, I've been playing. I've been, you know, I've been, I've been gaming with um, Denzel a bit this week. Cool. Um, she's been free. I've been free. So a couple of nights this week, we've jumped on, played a couple of hours of uh, some different games. We played Back for Blood. Oh yeah. Which is just uh, hit get Xbox Game Pass this week. Nice. And it's good. It looks pretty. It's Left for Dead, basically. <laughs> yeah. With it's it's Left for Dead with newer graphics and a different name. Cool. Sounds good to me. And that's not a bad thing. No. So if you've got Xbox Game Pass on PC or Xbox, then play it because it's good. Cool. There well, you go. Check Back it out. for Blood. Four with which is actually four because there's four people that you play as. Makes sense. Four. Like Left for Dead. But... There you go. Yeah. yeah. But back for blood. Yeah. Mm. Um, so that's good. Um, we've also been playing Destiny 2. Ooh. Nice. Jump back that. down that fucking rabbit hole. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I can't play that anymore. Uh, but, that's um, we're playing about next year. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Denzel, hadn't, Denzel hadn't really played it before. Oh, right. Okay. So I was like, look, mm. we'll jump in. There's a shitload of content. It's all on Game Pass. So we'll just jump in and play. Yeah. So we have been. We've been sort of uh, jumping in and uh, just having a little look at. Uh, uh, at that and it's it's great you know the graphics are phenomenal yeah like mm. you know even in comparison to like some newer games destiny 2 just looks amazing yeah like when i played the ps5 version like i was like yeah wow this looks amazing insane yeah it's Still. insane <laughs> yeah i know it's crazy but so yeah we've been playing that uh we've been playing some pez as well pez 20 pez uh 2021 season update um yeah, we've been playing that. I've been getting into that a bit, actually. I've downloaded um, an option file for the PlayStation version of that today, and I aim to continue playing that uh, because as much as I like FIFA 22 and I like playing Ultimate Team on FIFA 22, uh, I've come to the conclusion that it's a fucking horrible single-player game. Yeah, fair play. Um, I just don't enjoy... There's, there's certain things about the single-player aspect of FIFA I don't enjoy, and that's that every single game, no matter who you play, feels the same. Yeah. And to me, that's really annoying. Whereas Pez gives me the satisfaction of uh, playing better teams and they're good, playing weaker teams and they're weak, and the in between games are a bit, you know, are evenly matched. Whereas yeah. FIFA, everybody is the same. Yeah. Yep. And that's why I was kind of so. Well, that's why I was that comparison I made with like 2K22. And it was the same on 2K21 and 20 as well. Each game's different. Like every yeah. match you have, it feels different. Yeah. You know, yeah, if you I are agree. playing the weaker teams, you will, and you're one of the better teams and you're half decent, you'll dominate the game. If you play, when you play someone yeah. awesome, you get mullered. Uh, and then you have your evenly matched ones. So, yeah, that I, I would agree that that's a massive downfall with FIFA. I mean, I, I've, it is. I, I've turned FIFA off before because I've been playing teams in the cup in a lower, in a lower league. Mm-hmm. And, you know, no disrespect to, to these guys. They are professional footballers and, you know, are a thousand times better than I ever was. Um, but players from Burnley aren't going to be, you know, pirouetting on the edge of the box and banging it top corner. Not, no. Do you know what I mean? Not against Premier League teams anyway. No. M- maybe in their own division, what you know, whatever. Uh, and they probably could do it, but it's not that realistic. And, I, and no. I've, I, I, well, that was more FIFA 21, to be fair. Oh, but it's, it's still a very I'm similar thing in FIFA 22 as well. So, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. to me, it just doesn't feel like it should do. I, I like the online aspect. I'm really enjoying Ultimate Team. Yeah, having a great time with that. But against the AI, I just I feel like the 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 AI opponents are too overpowered, um, and it, they you know they just need to be nerfed a little bit. The game balancing is just completely off. Um, but you know, with yeah, NBA and Pez. There's that sort of player and team ID aspect to it, which mm-hmm. FIFA claimed to have this year, but for me, doesn't still. No, no, um, not quite. So even in preseason, I started a I started a preseason. Uh, well, I started a career mode. Uh, picked my team, playing like a, I played Getafe in uh, in preseason in one of the preseason tournaments, and they were they were just absolutely insane. Yeah. 
It's like, yeah. this is really stupid and makes me not want to play it. So, yeah, um, yeah I've installed a, an option file which gives me all the new transfers and all the new kits for PES 2021 on PS5 um, and all the transfer and yeah, all that sort of stuff. So it's going to just feel like a new season of game. Nice. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Me and Finn played Diablo 2 as well. Still enjoying oh, yeah. it. We need to get back on it. Yeah, really good. Mm, good that was. Yeah, I watched a bit of that. Yeah. Yeah, it's good. It's it's probably not a streaming game. It must be said because it's very um, boring to watch. I would probably, <laughs> it's, it's probably a fair assessment of it. Good yeah. fun to play, but it's probably boring to watch because it is fairly repetitive. And when you've got two dickheads who don't know what they're doing, <laughs> <laughs> like us... Where, where's the next area? Where's the where's the fucking save point? That's us. That that's our two hour two hour ish stream in a nutshell. <laughs> Pretty much. And he's trying to beat to death. So yeah, beat my skeleton to death. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. Finn, uh, Finn uh, plays as necromancer, so um, he can like bring uh, skeletons up from the dead, and they run around with him. But I keep right. getting confused uh, of them with enemies. Yeah, so I keep is. trying to hit them. Yeah, it's, it's easy to, uh, <laughs> to mix them up. They look very similar. Yeah. But, hey, it's a great game. You can tell it's an older game, and it's probably not as good mm. as Diablo 3. It's not as good as Diablo 3. But it's still very good, and it's been very well polished. Yeah, it's super pretty. I like it. You can, you can like, push I you like left trigger and the um, touchpad to make switch it back to the old graphics. It's yeah, like, I like that too. Yeah, it's like, wow, this looks way worse than I remember. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks, it looks super old. I mean, it's cool because you can do it with the uh, the Halo Master Chief collection as well. Yeah, you can yeah. Do that. You can uh, oh, switch okay. between uh, the newer and older graphics. Um, very that's cool. a, you know what? If you've got an Xbox, you should play the Master Chief collection because um, what they've done with that collection is just awesome. Yeah, like they have upgraded it and updated it ever since it came out, and are still doing so now. Um, even as we're in the run up to um, the new Halo. Um, okay. Yeah, that's it's so, and it's got so many games on there. I mean, they've added originally it was just one to one through four, but now you've got Reach, ODST, and the multiplayer still going. It's it's great, really, really good. It's awesome. Yeah, it's Game Pass on PC as well. Um, yeah, no Halo Five yet though. I do anyone haven't played? I want to kind of play it. Halo Five is on Game Pass though, isn't it? Yeah, not on PC though for some reason. Really? Yeah, it's weird. Oh, that's strange. Did it released on PC though? Right? I don't think so. What, the game didn't release on PC? Not as well, I don't know. Oh, I don't know okay. why. Yeah. At least at Microsoft, I want to play it. Uh, yeah, <laughs> I mean, I had no idea it wasn't on PC. Yeah, bizarre. I don't know why. We'll list all the others yeah. are on there. Oh, well. Hmm. One day. Oh, well. Very strange. Yeah, maybe, maybe, strange. maybe before I'll put it on there. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I, that's uh, that's what we've been playing this week, guys. We've yeah. been... We've all been playing different stuff and it's all good. And then next week we're all just going to be sitting there going, we all play Far Cry. Yeah, Far Cry, Far Cry. <laughs> yeah. A bit more Metroid. Yeah. Uh, Far Cry, let's go. Um, yeah. Uh, I bought uh, WarioWare, but I haven't had a chance Ooh, to play yeah. it yet. That's cool. Wario. Yeah, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play that at some point. Awesome. So, yeah. Uh, do we have any gaming news to speak of? Uh, we've got a little bit. We've got a little bit. Uh, so I think the biggest thing announced this week uh, is Sora from Kingdom Hearts is going to be in Super Smash Brothers. Which made a lot of people very happy, which is and good to see. And some people angry. And some people, some spicy nerds, very angry for some reason. I said, <laughs> "I wanted Waluigi." So, okay, why? <laughs> uh, but no, it's, why is Waluigi not in that game? Uh, who knows? Just cars. He's, well, he's, he's in not... Mario Kart. Fucking play that. Everyone, <laughs> everyone owns that. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Just, just go and play. Ma- just go play Mario Kart. Yeah, I think. Well, be Waluigi. <laughs> yeah, I think he is an assist trophy in Smash, but he's not like a playable character. Also, I'm going to say this out loud because I don't care. Waluigi sucks. Oh, All right? sick and burn. <laughs> he does suck. Waluigi maybe. sucks. He does. Um, but yeah. Rah, 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 rah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, sort of Smash. That's big, huge news. Um, and sort of the end of an era as well. This is the last Smash Brothers Ultimate character we're going to get. Um, yeah. And that, so yeah, end of an era. It's very cool to see Sora and Smash. And uh, yeah, I don't because I don't think we're going to get any more. Smash for this game for a long, long time. I think this is going to be like probably the, not. But the, I think, they've got enough miles out of this one. Yeah, I think it's going to be like the Mario Kart Eight of um, Smash Brothers. Uh, it's going to be around forever. Yeah. <laughs> for whatever the next it's console forever. is. Forever. The thing is, this is easily the best Smash Brothers has, there's ever been. Yeah. Just like Mario Kart Eight is the best Mario Kart there's ever been. There'll be some people who will be very, <laughs> very uh, 
we'll disagree with you with that, but I agree. Okay, well, what, what, <laughs> what, which Mario Kart would you say is the best Mario Kart ever? I mean, I agree with you, but people seem to be like the, um, the Wii version, for whatever reason. Okay, well, the Wii version is good. Yeah, it's great. But I think it's because it was different at the time because you used the the sort of Wii remote and you had the like the uh, the plastic, thing. yeah, that yeah. the plastic steering wheel peripheral, and everyone really liked it. It was great, and blah blah blah. Mario Kart Eight is the best. Uh, yeah, I agree. But I think yeah. <laughs> Mario Kart Eight. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's great. Um, yeah, so I, I really want to get back into Smash. The roster is like insanely huge. There's so many people in it's, there now. It's enormous. Ridiculous. Um, but yeah, awesome. Good stuff. Um, it's made surprising. Whoops. But GTA 3, uh, GTA 3, the GTA Trilogy is now officially a thing. Rockstar announced what? it finally. <laughs> it got leaked online. I did not see this coming at all. About 50 times by <laughs> different means. Uh, the, achievement, <laughs> the achievements leaked on Steam. Yeah, and um, that's what it took for them to finally announce it. Like, <laughs> shit, okay, fair enough. It's real. So we, we they've, they've found us out, guys. So <laughs> yeah. we better announce it. Uh, yeah, that's cool. I look forward to playing that again. Classic games from my childhood. And yours yeah. as well, I assume. Yeah, for um, sure. How do you yeah. think they've done it? Do you think it's... I would assume it's the old graphics, sh- like, shiny. I'd imagine so. I don't think it would be like a proper remake, by any means. Just, no, 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 no. No, it'll be enhanced graphics, enhanced textures and things like that. Um, but all I want is dual stick control. Yeah, that's <laughs> yeah. all I want. I could not give a toss whether the graphics are still shit. I just couldn't care less. Yeah, all yeah, I want I just... is my dual stick controls. That's all I need. You drive it by trigger, stop it left trigger, dual analog sticks. Yes, that's all we need. that as well. That's all we need. If you're walking around and someone's behind you, just let me use the right stick to turn it around. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I don't want to have to move. The same hand from the left stick to the D-pad to turn the camera around. <laughs> no. Yeah, no, we don't. Want but you, it will have dual stick control. Yeah, of course. Um, and if it doesn't, <laughs> delete. <laughs> yeah. But that's really cool. I'm hoping they get to keep the soundtracks as they were uh, on PS2. Because I know some like re-releases like on Steam and the like, PS4 uh-huh. like classic version. They had the soundtracks yeah. modified, which is a shame. So hopefully they'll be able to get back. Um, the full soundtrack from the originals. I'd be surprised if they can. Yeah. Mm. Uh, because I think there, there will be uh, some stuff. I mean, you know, I remember first playing GTA Vice City and you get in the car for that first time and the first song that plays is Michael Jackson. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. But that isn't the case anymore because, as I'm a, you know, they would have lost the license for it over time. And I, you know, the, the, they will still have great soundtracks. Mm. They'll just be a few tracks less. Yeah. To be fair, GTA does have all the money in the world, or Rockstar will have all the money in the world, so they, they can probably afford it. Yeah, because they've been milking GTA Five <laughs> yeah. for the last eight years. Yeah. <laughs> uh, fun times. Speaking of remakes, there's been a lot of rumours around a potential Metal Gear Solid 3 remake in the works, which is very exciting. So they can't. Why is I'm back. Oh, he's back. Okay, cool. Uh, yeah, Metal Gear Solid 3 remake. Uh, that would be awesome. I would like that, please. Yeah, I don't understand why three though. Mm. I think it's just because it's the most um, beloved one, I guess, from people. Is it though? I think is so. It? I don't think. I don't think it is. One is the best one. Uh, yeah, I agree. Um, but yeah, I think it's people online the more the the, the, the most more the, the more people. The one I see online is people saying that three is the best. Um, in their opinion, if they give like a poll, I think three would, three would win. Uh, but I agree, the first one mm. being the best. Um, but yeah, whatever. Just, more... do all, just do them all. Yeah, do them all. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all amazing. Just yeah, whichever one, I'm, I'm good. I'm happy either way. But again, they don't need much of a shine up. Just yeah. shiny them up like they're going to do with the GTA remastered trilogy. Just do that with you know, put Snake Eater in, not Snake Eater, sorry, Snake Eater. Uh, Twin Snakes in there. Yeah, not, Twin Snakes. You know. Metal Gear Solid 1, put Twin Snakes in there and then just, you know, because there's already a HD collection which looks okay for Metal yeah. Gear Solid. Yeah. I've got 2 and 3 on Xbox and they still look fine. Nice. And play great. Awesome. Yeah, I've got the so HD just, collection somewhere. So just, you know, 1 to 4, fuck 5, and then... <laughs> 4, 5. Just, yeah, just 1 to 4. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be okay with that. Just, yeah. Don't, you, don't need to, you don't need to remake it from the ground up. It's a it's a pointless exercise when the game is already there looking and playing fantastic. 
Yeah, I agree. Then again, this is Konami, and Konami does whatever the fuck they want because they're weird. And if David Hayes got a snake, <laughs> I'm fuming. Yeah, that'd be that'd be stupid. Metal Gear. Metal Gear. <laughs> uh, so that's cool. Um, potentially, um, but we have a new uh, Call of Duty uh, 2022 name has been leaked, and it's going to be Modern Warfare Two. Again, I'm sick of Call of Duty now. What? What's that? I'm sick of Call of Duty yeah, now. Me too. But I just don't get why in Modern I... Warfare. There's already a game called Modern Warfare Two. You have that. <laughs> There's two Modern Warfares. <laughs> I just I can't it's think about of any to be more a names. Second Modern Warfare Two. Yeah. Just think of something else. There's other names. <laughs> Modern yeah, Warfare. Well, you know, I just don't. I just think COD is. Well, I'm just gonna. It's shit now. <laughs> It's, just it's the, the same. same game every single year now. Yeah, same zombies mode every year. That got to go announced as well. Yeah, for the new one. Zombies. People play Warzone a shitload, and just let people enjoy that. Yeah, just let people play that. That's and just to update that. You'll make enough money off it because people will buy season passes and whatever. Mm. But I don't know, man. There's just something about Call of Duty now. It's just it doesn't interest me anymore. No, same. And you know, I like. I like Call of Duty. I think the fundamentals of Call of Duty are really good. Yeah, you know, like the, the gunplay is great. The multiplayer is always good fun. The campaign, if you actually play it, are decent. Yeah, I mean, I love but, the original Modern Warfare on 360. Yeah, it's, awesome. it's the same oh, every yeah. single year now. And this year, we've gone back to the Second World War again it's with loops. Vanguard. <laughs> yeah. I just, you know, maybe take some time off, update Warzone for a year, Come back with something fresh. Yeah, something new. They won't know. They'll, maybe yeah. I don't. I mean, I don't know what you can do that's new, but you know, Battlefield took a year off and they've come back, and you know that looks the same. Yeah. Yeah. Battlefield twenty forty two, whatever it is. Hmm, there are some things with that looks pretty cool. Like it, they've got like. Yeah. Oh, it looks cool, and I like Battlefield as well. But I just think, you know, how much more can you do? You know, how far can you actually go with it? Yeah, but with um, Battlefield, um, they've they've done this thing. It's called the Portal, but people can make sort of their own game modes. Um, okay, this could be potentially be pretty cool. Some very unique um, sort of game. It's a bit like GTA Five, where people can make their own uh, maps and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that could be cool. That's cool, and at least they're trying something a bit different. But I yeah. mean, like, when I when I say you know it looks the same, their base the base game of Battlefield looks like Battlefield. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there's <clears> only you can't. With these games now, it's probably very. It's, it's well, it is. It's, it's almost nigh on impossible to, um, you know, build something new. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah, you know, you're not going to reinvent the mold with a, a first person shooter war game. Yeah, everyone no. wants to play it safe. You know, people people are going to buy Call of Duty every year. They know that. Of course they are. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. But it's lazy, isn't it? It is. But hey. But it works. But it look, works. wait, what the fuck do we know? We just sit here and talk about video games. We don't make video games. We don't make any money off video no, games. No. Uh, so that's that. Um, so, PlayStation VR turns five uh, this month, or next month. Unreal. Insane. Uh, the PlayStation have announced there's going to be uh, three games added for free to the PlayStation Plus collection, along with the normal uh, three games we get anyway. Nice. You haven't saw what those games are yet, but it's cool, more free games. Uh, apparently, the most played games are uh, Beat Saber, good. PlayStation VR World, which makes sense because it was free with the uh, yep. thing. Uh, Elder... Yeah, the bundle. The bundle, yeah. Uh, got Elder Scrolls V Skyrim VR, cool. Of course. Of course. Everyone loves Skyrim. <laughs> and uh, Resident Evil 7, which is. Yeah, there was another one as well, wasn't it? Rec Room oh, or yeah. something? Rec Room, yeah. It was a free to play like social game where you can like, meet up with friends and play little games. Yeah, it's I've cool. never, I tried, I've never even entertained it. I didn't even know it was a, a thing. No, to be quite honest, me neither. I had to Google it. <laughs> what the hell's is Rec Room? Looks cool though. I like PlayStation VR a lot. Me too. It's awesome. Beat Saber. Yeah, I'd like, I'd like to sort of, you know, get back into it, but it's finding the time, isn't it? Mm. You know, with VR, it's because set, you have to set, set it, it up. up. Yeah, it involves standing up for the most part, <laughs> and you know, it's difficult to sort of be asked to do it <laughs> I know what you mean I'm hoping with the next VR it'll just be just like easy flick a switch put your head on go Without yeah because there's a million about. wires for PlayStation VR as well <laughs> yeah apparently there's just one wire for the new one it's about 15 good. which is good <laughs> um, yeah I mean I, I, th- I think PlayStation VR is great I really yeah. do me too I'm um 
And when this this generation of PlayStation VR is you know on its way out, we'll do a podcast about it because it's been it's been a great first go. Yeah, really good. Mm. Yeah, and there's some really good games. Some games that I feel are must plays, but you know, not everybody you know can afford a PlayStation VR. It's not a cheap piece of kit, you know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, there's some really must. Some of the best games of the last generation are VR games. Yeah, I mean, Resident Evil Seven in VR is mind blowing. It's like my first yeah. proper VR experience. Just like it's so cool. It's like I think like mm-hmm. peeking around and- the corner <laughs> in real time. It's like oh, that's so awesome. Yeah, and like some of my favourite experiences are in VR. Batman Arkham VR, yeah, brilliant. That's really yeah, good. Yeah. Absolutely mind blowing. You know, there's some great stuff. Really, really good stuff. There's a lot of bad stuff, but <laughs> there's um yeah. There's a lot of really great stuff for PlayStation VR. Yeah. Happy birthday, PlayStation VR. Yeah, happy birthday, PlayStation VR. Happy fifth birthday somehow. Yeah. How? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um and then the last bit of news I have is um kind of wrestling and video game based. Um so apparently, shockingly, uh, the recent WWE releases um, uh, ruined WWE 2K22's DLC plans. Who does that? <laughs> <laughs> Who does all that? Man? Yeah. <laughs> Imagine getting all this stuff ready. It's like, all right, ready to go. I get a call from Vince. Like, Hello, Vince. Oh, it- oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> So, so we can't release the Rising Stars pack. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no more, no more Bonson Reed, what? no more. What? What's uh, that? XT two point oh. Two point what? Uh, we'll figure it out somehow, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. Cursing I'll... Vince out as soon as that phone's put down. <laughs> Tell him a bitch. I spent That's two thousand. Silly hours. old man. <laughs> Who uh, the fuck is Bron Breaker? <laughs> Bron Breaker. <cut. laughs> um, but apparently. It's a bit of good news, and uh, they, they are exploring the potential of like roster updates, like they do with uh, the NBA games and stuff like that, oh. which would be free, free of charge and would mimic the real life rosters and stuff like that, which sounds oh. pretty cool. Yeah, but why is it taking them so long <laughs> to figure this out? Yeah, so oh, you want NBA 2K oh. has been doing it for years. <laughs> yeah, but this is good news. This is really yeah, good. Yeah, it is good. Yeah. Really cool. Now, if you can keep it up to date, music, that sort of thing, then that's great. Music, attires, that sort of stuff, that will keep people coming back to the game. Yeah, absolutely. That'd be if you keep me coming cool. back to the game, that'd be great. That yeah. sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. Yeah. I agree. Um, yeah, so apparently it was going to be around, the DLC was going to be around like people like Bronson Reed um, and guys like that, like newer guys. So, uh, yeah, whoops. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, 2K. Also, that, the way they did it was ridiculous because the DLC would be guys that should just be in the game anyway. Yeah, like wasn't the fiend yeah. like one of the DLC guys? He'd be pretty yeah, pages. but it was unlockable straight away. I think. Oh, was it? Oh, okay, can't remember. Um, yeah, I think you could unlock him instantly, but it was with oh no, it was with the first DLC pack, and you had to fight the tower thing to unlock him. Right, makes sense. <laughs> um, oh, so they're going oh, again. Uh, but yeah, cool. Last updates sounds awesome. Yeah. I'm, actually, I'm actually much, still here, much. but it's just recording my voice for some reason. Oh. My camera is not playing ball. Oh, weird. Maybe it'll come back not soon. Playing ball. <laughs> not, not playing Bobby Ball. Oh, it there it is. He's back. Hey. There we go. He's back. He's back. He's back. Not He's sure. Back. Not sure what happened there. Technical Good issues. stuff. As usual. Yeah. Technology. <laughs> hey. Technology. Just... Yeah, I'm not sure what's going on there, but with the, going back to WWE 2K, like, yeah, the, the DLC is ridiculous. It's like, you know, before when they would have like, have like Ricochet as a DLC, it's like, no, no, he's, he should be in the game anyway. Yeah. Like, don't make us pay for the people yeah. that should be already be in it. It'd be like uh, it'd be like getting FIFA, wouldn't it? And saying get the DLC to download Real Madrid, Barcelona, PSG. Like, yeah. Fuck off! The real team, stick them in there. <laughs> La Liga action pack. Yeah, La Liga coming action soon. Plan. Download yeah. Atletico Madrid. How about you just put it in the game from the start? That's what. It, <laughs> yeah. That's what. It, that'd be the equivalent, wouldn't it? Mm. It's like hey, they're on. Stop. They're on the the roster. Put them in. Like I've got no problem for like DLCs for. You know, if someone new comes up or someone new comes in from, you know, another promotion or whatever, or, you know, I don't I don't mind that sort of thing because it's like they're not on the game or, uh, you know, some of the, the older guys and your Hall of Famers, that sort of thing. But Just don't announce who's going to be in the DLC ahead of time. Just be like, yeah. uh, with future updates planned, and then 
you know, because these people, they're obviously already got it in their heads that they're going to be in the game and their character model will already be there because they've done the scans and whatever. So just put them in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I thought... yeah, put them in. Uh, if they're going to do that with like a, a live update style feature, then I'm all for it. That's cool. Yeah, that'd be great. I do feel bad for 2K. It's imagine being like, hey, finish our story mode revolving around Daniel Bryan and Adam Cole. This is going to be great. <laughs> Hello, Vince. Oh, <laughs> you, you, spent, you, spent, you spent five thousand hours making this story, mate. But okay. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's gotta suck. I mean, obviously, that game was due to come out this month. This month. Right, this month. Yeah, yeah. This yeah. month or next, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So you know that game would have been a fair way into development. Mm. Yeah. But the thing then, is, they, they announced that it was going to be next year a couple of months ago, didn't they? Yeah, it's March twenty twenty. When, when the when the when the releases happened, um, the game was still on course. And then a couple yeah. of weeks after, it was like, okay. Yeah, didn't they announce it look... at SummerSlam? Mm, something just like after, that. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, right, yeah. I think it was yeah something like that. So yeah, when the releases happened, it wasn't long after that because they realised mm. that all these people were basically going to go to AEW and they had to take them out of the game and. Yeah, I mean, how fucking stupid would it look for WWE 2K22 to come out oh. and there's Daniel Bryan, <laughs> Adam Cole, Bobby Fish, you know, <laughs> yep. the list goes on. Yeah, all Alistair, these, Alistair you know, Black. all the Alistair Black, yeah, all these people that have been, you know, released and now gone to, um, to AEW for them to be in a WWE game. There was talk at one point as well of like some sort of uh, deal with CM Punk for him to be part of the uh, <laughs> yes. WWE, wow. WWE yeah, yeah. game. <laughs> yeah. Imagine, and obviously, you know that that went belly up. <laughs> I still can't believe Steampunk so, is wrestling again. It's mad. Oh, it's awesome. Yeah, it's so cool. It's so awesome. Cool, and I love it. But yeah, that's about it for video game uh, news. Cool. On to the uh, the quiz. I always get yeah. <laughs> so guys, oh, it's yeah. time. We've had a bit of time away from it. But it's back again. It's back. It's a brand new round. What do we even call it? The pub quiz. The eliminate a pub quiz. Yeah. Ah. Or... Let's let's rewind a little bit. Just just more to... more to... It's time for a new round of the eliminate a pub quiz. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's me versus Finn. Steve is the quiz master. We have three rounds. Three different topics. So three rounds, ten questions each, and three different topics, right? Correct. Yeah. I won last time. It's currently 1-0 to Mr. Garner. <laughs> Hell yeah. But it's all to play for. It is. Of course it is. It's all yeah. to play for. It's all to play for. All to play for. Okay. Feels like we're winging it this week, you know. There's a bit. A bit I, I feel like we had a set out plan, and yet we're just it. sort of... Uh, no, it's been fine. It's been good. It's been good. It's been good. It's fine. Oh, it's been great. It's been the best <laughs> podcast we've probably ever done. Probably. Yeah, probably. Probably ever. Probably. Probably, probably, probably ever. Probably. 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 Yeah, yeah. Probably ever. Probably. 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 <laughs> um, Jesus Christ. Yep. Okay. So, Sonny, you've explained it already. Three rounds, ten questions per round. Whoever gets the most combined over the three rounds wins. Simple as that. Good old pub quiz style. So round one is about everyone's favourite zombie-based game, Resident Evil. Resident Evil. Thought you were going to say Call of Duty. Yeah, or Call of Duty. (laughs) (laughs) Not Call of Duty, Resident Evil. Okay. Okay, so pens, papers, using your phone at the ready? Uh, Yep. Okay, question number one. Which video game franchise originally started out as Resident Evil 4. Does that make sense? No, I think so. So, there is a current video game franchise that originally started out as plans for Resident Evil 4. They shelved those plans and they created a whole new franchise. What is that franchise? I've heard this before. I can't what the franchise was. Uh, I'm gonna have to take a guess, to be honest. Okay, question number two. I'll go through all the questions and answers at the end of the 10 questions. 
So, question number two. Some Resident Evil games have subtle nods to the final album made by which iconic British band? So, some Resident Evil games have subtle nods to the final album made by which iconic British band? Okay, we can revisit if you want to go back over the questions. So question number three. In 2008, sorry, in the 2008 Gamer edition of the Guinness World Records, Resident Evil has claim to which record? So in the 2008 Gamer edition of the Guinness World Records, Resident Evil has claim to which world record? I think something quite light-hearted and piss-takey. There you go, a little bit of a clue. Okay, question number four. In what year did the first Resident Evil, easy for me to say, start development? So question number four, in what year did res the first Resident Evil start development? Okay. okay. These are hard. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> we're sitting here in silence because we're just fucking stumped. <laughs> Can't make it too easy. Yeah. Question number five. Spencer Mansion is heavily influenced by which horror film? Spencer Mansion is heavily influenced by which horror film? Okay, I'll move on. Question number six. What company is responsible for the Type 2 Plagueis outbreak in Resident Evil 5? So what company is responsible for the Type 2 Plagueis outbreak in Resident Evil 5? <laughs> it's been so long since I've played Resident Evil 5. Yeah. <laughs> Looking back now, I think these questions are probably a bit hard. Um, <laughs> the listeners wrote, are like, wrote, is he taking uh, the actual piss in? I wrote, yeah. I wrote these like four weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> um, question number seven. What is the name of the gas station that features in the Resident Evil games? So there's a gas station that's in every single game, pretty much. Yeah, I can see it in my what mind, but I can't remember. Yeah, yeah that's, it, that's it why I put well. it there, because it's like, you, you'll see it and... I mean, if you were asking me these questions, I'd get all of them wrong, so... Yeah. Um, I've played Resident Evil 3 fairly recently, and it does feature a gas station, but I can't even yeah. remember what, what it's called. Yeah. Okay. Question number eight. Which Resident Evil game has a typo on the box art? Yeah. Which Resident Evil game has a typo on the box art? Question number nine. In Resident Evil Zero, what does Billy Cohen's tattoo say? I don't know. <laughs> In Resident Evil Zero, what does Billy Cohen's tattoo say? And question number ten. What year was Leon born? Leon. Yeah. Like Leon the character? Or Leon? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, who else would it be? I mean, like, what, what year was he first like in a video game, or what year is his like? No, no, what year? Because the way they've worked it out is he reveals his age in one of the games, uh. so they've worked it out back from that. <laughs> Fucking hell! Uh, okay. <laughs> I mean, this is the easiest round, to be fair. <laughs> it's not. It's not. Wow, it's that was difficult. You'll be fine. Okay, do you want me to repeat any questions? Do you want me to go home? I am home. Do you want me to just go and <laughs> come back with some easier questions? Uh, um, I'm good, but I know that a lot of the answers... Well, I think I'm going to score zero points in this round. And I've got one. Really? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I apologise. I apologise. I need to... I, yeah. Yeah, I'm okay. looking at zero points here. Nil point. All right. We'll see how we go. Like Britain at the fucking Eurovision. Yeah. <laughs> Nil point. 
Which video game franchise originally started out as the original? Was originally uh, planned to be Resident Evil Four. I said the Evil Within. Ooh. Finn, what did you put? Um, I had to think about it, but I believe it is Devil May Cry. The correct answer is Devil May Cry. Hey. Hey. Wow. Pretend, pretend so they were going to go in that direction, and then they went, okay. "Nah, let's create a whole new franchise." Yeah. Who went like that? Good. Uh, question number two. Some Resident Evil games have subtle nods to the final album made by which iconic British band? The answer is Queen. Mm. So their final album is, I can't remember the name of it, and in certain games there are nods to songs from that album. All right, okay. Uh, cool. I put the I who. I had no idea. <laughs> it's not a bad show. I have an ending. I don't know. Okay. Question number three. In, two, in the 2008 Gamer Edition of the Guinness World Records, Resident Evil has claimed to which world record? I put worst voice acting or something like that. <laughs> uh, I didn't put anything. I'm going to give it to Finn because oh. the answer I've got here is worst video game dialogue. <laughs> but that's pretty much on the on the same. So I'm going to give Finn that one. Hey. <laughs> I mean, that, um, is a, that is an unbelievable Guinness World Record to have in it. Yeah. yeah. The like the worst one. video game dialogue. I don't know whether it's been taken since or Probably. whatever. But, but yeah, Probably one, not. Um, one that's pretty no. bad. <laughs> One's awful, yeah. yeah You're almost really a jello sandwich. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> 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 Jill, you take this. You are the master of unlocking whilst moving hand like a fucking robot. <laughs> Who's got Discord notifications on? Wasn't me. Well, not me. It, must it be could you. be me, actually. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> <probably> <laughs> you. <laughs> yeah, I didn't hear anything, so I think it must be on your end. Right, question number four. In what year did the first Resident Evil start development? The answer is 1993. Damn it. Oh, well, I was way off. I did not. I did not question... Question number five. Spencer Mansion is heavily influenced by which horror film? It is The Shining. Mm. Uh, oh, what, company, okay. what company is responsible for the Type 2 Plagueis outbreak in Resident Evil 5? The answer is Tricell. Ah, that was it. Question I've number brother, seven. What is the name of the gas station that features in the Resident Evil games? It's called Stagler. Mm. S-T-A-G-L-A. No way would I got that. No. Which Resident Evil game has a typo on the box art? It is Resident Evil Revelations for the 3DS. The word revelation is spelt incorrectly. Yeah, no, say that. <laughs> Hold on, I have it. Let me go find I think out. it says like revelations or something. Is, is there an A, is an E? I think like I that? missed I think I missed um the answer to question number four while I was muting so Discord notifications. Oh sorry. In what year did the first Resident Evil start development? It was nineteen ninety three. Oh shit! I got that one right. Oh, you did? Wow! Nice, nice. nice. Have a ding. I got it came out in ninety six. Ninety six, yeah. So yeah, I yeah. guessed that it had yeah. to be a couple of years before, right? Cool. Uh, have you got it, or have yeah. you got one of the updated ones, Finn? That's got correct. Revelations. No, it looks, it looks right to me. R E B. I've seen pictures. They they released a load where Revelations was spelled incorrectly. <laughs> that is like, piss poor, isn't it? it? Might be like the American version. Uh, yeah. In Resident Evil Zero, Billy Cohen's tattoo says Mother Love. Oh. And, <laughs> uh, question number 10. Leon was born. Leon, Leon. was born in 1977. Oh, wow. Oh, fuck, I put 1979. Oh, but 1982. Oh, unlucky. Oh, unlucky. So I deduced from that that Finn got two and so he got one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> it's still yeah. close. It's still close. All to play for. I, so they, we go they on make to round. Didn't make cry. I was like, I know this. What is it? What's it? And like by yeah. question four, I was like, yeah. Don't make cry. <laughs> it would have been weird for Resident Evil to have gone. In that I agree. Direction. Yeah, it's super weird. Yeah. yeah, that's why I said the Evil Within because well, yeah, it think. was made by the same person who did um, Resident Evil, I think. Yeah. Right. And plays like it and looks like it. Cool. Okay. So, all to play for still. Round number two is all about our favourite Friday night wrestling programme. No, not AEW Rampage. WWE Smackdown. Okay. So, all these questions are related to... Don't let Tony Khan hear you say that shit, by the way. (laughs) And yes, uh, so apparently the uh, spelling uh, was on the spine. I think it's the American versions. It was spelled R-E-V-E-L-A-I-T-O-N-S. With a light on (laughs) With a light on (laughs) <laughs> Jesus, that is so bad. Yeah. <laughs> <My tons>. Brilliant. <laughs> right then, are we ready for round number two? Uh, I'm ready. Smackdown. Yeah. 
Music, please, maestro. Music. M -m -m music. Here we go. We can't do the quiz without the music. Of course not. Now, bear in mind, I wrote these questions about four weeks ago. Things, numbers may have changed. I don't know. I'm going with what was correct at the time. Okay, so, question it. number one. According to Wikipedia, how many seasons of SmackDown have there been? Jeez. Because it goes in seasons for some reason. How many seasons of SmackDown has there been? Question number two. On which night of the week was SmackDown originally broadcast on? Question number three. Which band recorded the theme song for the 1000th episode of SmackDown? It was only ever used for that episode. Which yeah. band recorded the theme song for the 1000th episode of SmackDown? Question number four. How many different countries have hosted an episode of SmackDown? So how many different countries have hosted an episode of SmackDown? Question number five. The first ever map on SmackDown saw the Blue Blazer defeat which wrestler? So the first ever episode of SmackDown, the Blue Blazer beat which wrestler? Question number six. How many times has the money in the bank briefcase been cashed in on an episode of SmackDown? Money, 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 money. How many times money, has the money, money in the money, bank money, briefcase money. <laughs> been cashed in on SmackDown? <laughs> Question number seven. Which wrestler has the most appearances on SmackDown? And they are way ahead. They're not going to be caught for ages. Dolph Ziggler. Ages. He's up. He's up there. It's not him. There you go. There's a clue for you. Yeah. Be surprised. Which wrestler has the most wins on SmackDown? Which wrestler has the most wins on SmackDown? This was as of January the first this year. So, but again. They're not going to be caught. Cool. Question number nine. How many Hell in a Cell matches have taken place on SmackDown? And question number ten. The current SmackDown theme song is performed by which band? Question number ten. The current SmackDown theme song is performed by which band? Okay, does anyone want me to repeat any questions? No, all no. good. I think I'm good. How do you feel you did? Pretty good? Um, average? A lot maybe. of these are <laughs> Average, yeah. Average. Okay. Question number one. According to Wikipedia, how many seasons of SmackDown have there been? There has been 23. Bloody hell. Oh. Apparently. Jesus. I put 21. But eight. <laughs> I thought they were longer. Eight? eight? I thought they were longer. It's been... No. It's how long do you think a season is? I know. A long yeah. time. <laughs> I put 21. Um, I couldn't remember how many years it had been going. Yeah, 23. I think we're in the 23rd one now. So, right. um, On which night of the week was SmackDown originally broadcast on? It was on a Thursday. Damn it. Yeah. Uh, which band recorded the theme song for the 1000th episode of SmackDown? It was Panic at the Disco. Uh, really? Yeah. Is it the greatest show? Was it the greatest show? No. <laughs> no. No, no. It was an actual original song. It was an original song, and they wow. have used it for that. I put my um, That's not much out. How many different countries have hosted an episode of SmackDown? The answer is seven. Oh. Seven? I put four. I put five. Do you, who were the seven? I haven't got so it down. America, so, North America, America obviously. Canada. America, America Canada. Yeah. Um, uh, the UK. Oh, England. Wales? Uh, no. Oh. Uh, Glasgow? Um, Glasgow. Uh, no. Um, one of the... Because uh, you had a couple of episodes of SmackDown were a tribute to the troops and it was done in, I don't know, Iraq, 
maybe, oh, or okay, Afghanistan. Right. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, I think there's been one in Australia, maybe. Jesus. Uh, let me just quickly... Okay, so it's uh, United States, Canada, United Kingdom, Iraq, Japan, Italy, and Mexico. Japan? Oh, let me guess that. Yeah. That's cool. 2005 in Japan, Italy in 2007, Mexico in 2011, Iraq 0304, UK, Canada, and obviously the United States. Yeah, lovely. So the answer is seven. Uh, the first ever match on SmackDown saw the Blue Blazer defeat with wrestler. It was Val Venus. Oh. Ah, uh, fucking hell. I put Jeff Jarrett. Who did you put? I just no idea. I put Steve Austin. How many times has the Money in the Bank briefcase been cashed in on SmackDown? The answer is four. Yeah. Oh, oh, wow. Well, don't, know who, three. don't know who. Don't know who the four are. Don't. Um, One is Jack Swagger. Yeah, Swagger. I think Corbin tried to cash in. Failed. Yeah, Cena maybe? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Which wrestler has the most appearances on SmackDown? The answer is The Big Show with really? 313 appearances. Where well, about Edge? Rock. Edge. Mm. Which wrestler, as of the 1st of January this year, has the most wins on SmackDown? It is Rey Mysterio. Oh, Jesus. We and and that, will still, that will still be the case now. He went. There's... The people behind him are either retired or not even with WWE anymore. Wow. And he's obviously been active all through this year, so... Yeah, true. Um, how many Hell in a Cell matches have there been on SmackDown? There's been just the one. And the current SmackDown theme song is performed by ACDC. Yeah. Uh, who did you put? Nobody. <laughs> Nobody. Okay, well, I got two. Cool. Two? Two. Third, I got. Go on, go on. Which ones did you get right? Uh, number two. So when it was on Thursday nights originally, and ACDC. Cool. I got zero. Cool. <laughs> Not. So it is. <laughs> so. Jesus. Am I going to have to start doing these like? <laughs> what colour is Sonic the Hedgehog? You have to put this in bitch mode. That's what you're going to yeah, have to you do. Have to do that, yeah. Uh, yeah, bitch mode. <laughs> that's 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 next week's quiz. <laughs> bitch mode. Bitch mode. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch mode. Um, right. So that means that Sunny's actually winning three two. Yeah. How? So you've got three out of twenty, and Finn, you've got two out of twenty. <laughs> God's sake. Yeah, I might, might I'm slightly laughing. easier questions. Uh, <laughs> I, I, I would have been on zero by now. <laughs> I'm hoping that you're a little bit more successful with this round. I was so close with some of them SmackDown ones, though. Like I was like literally a couple of numbers off. Yeah, yeah was, you said there. three, didn't you, for Money in the Bank? and Yeah, yeah. 21 for these seasons, two for Hell in a yeah. Cell. Yeah, yeah, same, two for Hell in a Cell. Close, close. Uh, two, five, yeah. Close, Damn. but still wrong. So. Close, but, but rubbish. Still, everything, <laughs> everything to play for. Yeah, there is. Yep. There's one point in it. So round number three is about the game that will not go away and will never die. GTA 5. Hey. Let's go. Music please, Maestro. Here we go. So who are, question number one, who are the three main characters in GTA 5? If you do not get this right, I'm quitting this podcast. <laughs> question number two, what year was GTA 5 released? 2,000 years ago. <laughs> what year was GTA 5 originally released? Question number three. Roughly how many copies of GTA 5 were sold in the year 2020? Jesus. Question number four. GTA 5 is set in which fictional city? GTA 5 is set in which fictional city? Question number four, sorry. Question number five. Actor Stephen Ogg voices which character? Question number six. According to 
howlongtobeat.com. I had to say that right then. So according to the website howlongtobeat.com, how long does it take to complete the main story of GTA 5? Question number seven. Within a month of its release, how many Guinness World Records did the game get? So within a month of its release, how many Guinness World Records did the game get? Question number eight. What are Michael's kids called? Question number eight. What are Michael's kids called? Question number nine. What is the name of the strip club in GTA 5? What is the name of the strip club in GTA 5? And question number 10. Which TV show does Michael's daughter audition for? Oh, God damn it. What TV show does Michael's daughter audition for? Do you want me to repeat any questions? I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. Question number one. Who are the three main characters in GTA 5? Trevor, Michael, Franklin. Franklin, yeah. I have survived the podcast for another week. (laughs) (laughs) What year was GTA 5 released? It was 2013. Shit. Yeah. 14. (laughs) (laughs) Unlucky, Finn. Unlucky. Roughly how many copies of GTA 5 were sold in 2020? It was 20 million. Oh, fucking hell. I bet, I bet 10 million. Just, 20 million. I bet 8 million. Just, just in 2020 alone, 20 million copies. Wow. Who didn't own GTA 5 in that? Oh, God. Lockdown. Unreal. Yeah. GTA 5 is set in which fictional city? Los Santos. Santos. Correct. Gee. Actor Christ. Stephen Ogg voices which character? It is Trevor. Ah, oh, yeah. I'll be frank. I bet Michael. <laughs> okay. I knew it wasn't According... Michael because I follow him on TikTok. Oh. <laughs> He's milking it. <laughs> is he? <laughs> yeah. According to howlongtobeat.com, how long does it take to complete the main story of GTA 5? It is 31 and a half hours. Oh, I put 35. What did you put then? 20. I thought it'd be like last. played the game. Yeah, I thought it'd be like Maybe last of three. I did like did, did like just the missions and nothing else. You might be able to get through it. Yeah, the it's main story. There's a bit of waiting else. around in between some stuff though, isn't there? Because yeah. you have to wait for like yeah. um, the heist and whatnot. True. Yeah. 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 Within a month of its release, how many Guinness World Records did the game get? It was seven. <sighs> I put six. I put ten. <laughs> so most. So some of these are really weird categories. So. Most observed preview for an active experience virtual game. Jesus. Quickest computer game to earn a billion dollars. Top earning computer game within 24 hours. Ideal sale of the game within 24 hours. Commendable income made by an entertainment device within 24 hours. Quickest entertainment asset to collect a billion dollars. Outstanding sale of active experience video game within 24 hours. Like I say, nonsense categories. Yeah. But I think some of them some month. of them probably won't be beaten. Yeah. No, probably oh, not. Yeah. Probably not. When I was kind of researching these questions, some of the some of the, the stuff I was reading is just, just unbelievable. Oh, the game's the insane. Of, the amount of money it's made from <laughs> Rockstar and oh, it's just crazy. Um, question number eight. What are Michael's kids called? They are Tracy and Jimmy. Shit, I couldn't remember. No, okay. What is the name of the strip club in GTA 5? It is the Vanilla Unicorn, which yeah. is a great name for a strip club. Didn't even know that, actually. Obviously been in there, but... <laughs> of course. Oh. Spent a lot of time in it. <laughs> it took me 100 hours to do the main story, because I spent 70 hours in there. <laughs> uh, and question number 10, what TV show does Michael's daughter audition for? It is Fame or Shame. Uh, no. Hosted by Laszlo. Fame. Yeah. Yes. So, Sonny, how many did you get? Oops. Uh, one, two, three, four, four. So that puts you on seven overall. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Finn, uh, what did you get? Sonny wins. <laughs> I got two out of that. <laughs> 
Sonny wins. Yeah. <laughs> Two 0 to Sonny. Congratulations to me. Round of applause, please. <laughs> Right, easier questions next week. <laughs> yeah, a lot of them are like, are like so close, like one year off, one number off. Yeah, same. Yeah, I can't, I, I thought you would have known that eight years ago is 2013. Well, I didn't know it was eight years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, GTA I, I Five is um... just an insane game. Yeah, it's mental. It's the numbers mental. it's done is just crazy. And yeah. the thing is, people, probably including myself, will buy it again when it comes out again next year. Yeah. Yeah, I think I will. Probably. <laughs> because we're mugs. Yeah. That's why. Yeah. I had a really good uh, tiebreaker as well, just in case oh, yeah. okay. it got down to that. Mm. Um, do so now, I had to scramble it? for one because I realised that I hadn't actually put one in. And I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> so I just Googled tiebreaker questions and I thought this one would be perfect because it ties in with what we talked about earlier. Oh. How long was the Titanic? Oh. <laughs> in in metres. <laughs> uh... Oh, how, okay. 150? Finn, what would you say? Uh, really long, I don't know. 179. <laughs> it was 269. Two, wow. Two, wow. Two, Finn, Finn would have won because he got closest. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So oh. that was the tiebreaker. Neither video game or wrestling related. Fair enough. But, you know, by complete coincidence, it tied in with what we spoke about earlier on. It did. It did. Uh, I thought, oh, that's, that's strange, that. God damn so, yeah. man. That was a hard round. Sorry. I, I will. I'll, I'll make it easy. Now. Well, no. I mean, I think it just shows, you know, how much, you know, we don't know about some of these games that we know and love. Yeah. You know, the rest yeah. of the other one was especially difficult. Yeah. Like... Yeah. I think stuff like when you're trying to remember dates and stuff, that's about you know, trying to, in the memory bank, isn't it? Mm-hmm. And like, oh shit, when did that, you know? And, yeah. Yeah, tr- trying to remember little little things, but... Uh, but it was good again. Some... I mean, I doubt people have got many there. <laughs> yeah, but but people, I, know, this, I, I doubt I, they've I, got I, many. I, I know someone that's probably got 28 out of 30. Yeah. <laughs> so. There'll be a Resident Evil expert we'll out there somewhere. Yeah, there, there will, will be, be, yeah. <laughs> there will be. But yeah, that was a tough round. Good stuff, though. Yeah, pretty good. Cool. Um, right, I guess we should probably talk about wrestling as we are a wrestling podcast also. Go on then. Let's. Let's. But we've been going for an hour and a half, so we're not, we, we, don't, we don't want to keep people too much longer. <laughs> nah. Um, but um, Rampage hasn't been doing that well. Yeah. In terms of numbers. A good start. But then... I think the Why problem think with it... Is? Well, I think it's the time it's on mm. in America, quite honestly, because yeah. it's on what would be after SmackDown. So SmackDown would finish at 3 o'clock, then Rampage is on. Mm. And that's fucking late, you know? So here it's 3 in the morning. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, so what's that What's that in America? 10? 10 till, 10 till midnight? Yeah, uh, you know, it's is not... It like late well, it's, it's an hour. It's only an hour long. Oh, sorry. Yeah, of course. Of course. But... They are the doing is, a two-hour show soon, though, aren't they? Yeah, I think uh, yeah real week? soon, I think. Be- because SmackDown's... Oh, this uh, week. I think. Yeah, because SmackDown's two and a half hours this week. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Um, but th- th- this week, Tony Khan t- tweeted out that he couldn't wait. Let me find the tweet, actually, and I'll read it out word for word. Because, yeah, I feel like it's going to be easy you know, words. <laughs> he's really sort of, he's really gunning for it. Yeah. So, you know, and full credit to him because he wants to, he wants AEW to be the best. Yeah. Which, product wise, it is the best. Yeah, pretty much. Um, you know, in terms of quality of wrestling, etc. Um, b- b- where is it? Uh, ah, okay, here we go. So this is it's, it's an indirect tweet to WWE. I saw you're doing a half hour head to head with us. I can't wait to finally beat your main show head to head. It's been a long time coming. See you next Friday for hashtag AEW Rampage on at AEW on TNT. Hmm. Now. So, I was I tweeted that you know it's ballsy what he said, but you know I don't think that AEW would beat SmackDown now, which normally it wouldn't. I've been told these are in the replies to the tweet that I put up that SmackDown's on FS1 this week. Yeah, because yeah. there's some sports um, 
Now, Thing. I'm ignorant here, so I don't know what that means. Now, I know that's Fox Sports 1. That much I know. I'm not that much of an idiot. <laughs> but is that something that you would have to pay for additionally I, to get? I don't really know. I, I'm not sure. So, so are people saying that because it's on FS1 that it won't do good numbers? Is that what people are saying to you? Yeah, yeah cause Smack, SmackDown usually does sort of two and a half million on a Friday. Live. And what's it normally on normally? FS2? Yeah, it's on uh, Fox. No, it's just on Fox, isn't yeah, it? It's, on, on it's just main. on general. All oh, right, okay. It's just on Fox. Okay. So I would imagine, uh, uh, and again, I'm completely ignorant. I don't know this. I'd have to research it. Um, I would say that it's a little bit like... Sky Sports? Sky Sports. Yeah. Exactly yeah. that. So occasionally, Sky will put a Premier League game on Sky One or whatever yeah. it's called now. Sky... Sky Mix? Showcase, That's I think it, it's yeah. called. Sky Showcase, okay. Yeah, so so occasionally they will put a game on Sky Showcase to, you know, kind of say, look, we've got this football mm. kicking the ball in the net. But ordinarily it's on, it's on uh, Sky Sports, which you have to pay extra for to add to your, to your Sky yeah. subscription. So it's an additional thing. It doesn't come with the base package. So... I would, I would imagine, and again, I, I could be completely wrong here, but I'm, I'm, my logic is that Fox is kind of like a Sky One, or yep. Sky Showcase, that is there with the base package, and FS One is like Sky Sports One that you have to pay additional for. Yeah, yeah so like know. a premium channel. Yeah, so it's for you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, that's that's where I would go based on what people have been saying in your in your replies. Certainly. Yeah. Yeah, I'm trying uh, to look it up now for certain. Yeah, look it up now. It seems to be the case. I can't say for sure, but yeah, yeah. I mean, that would make sense. I it mean, would make according, sense. Yeah. According to one of the replies, um, FS1 usually does around seven hundred thousand on a at that time on a Friday. Mm. Yeah, but obviously, you know, it depends sort of what's on. I don't know if SmackDown is generally on, is on FS1 anyway. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, I've, I've literally no idea, but. My... Well, if it's on both. It's gonna, it's gonna clear up. Well, of course, yeah. But it, I don't. It's not on Fox this week. That much I know. Right. Yeah. Okay. So it's just on FS1. Yeah. Um. So honestly, my original intention with the the tweet that I put out regarding it being ballsy and I didn't think it would happen, is because SmackDown does very well. Mm. Yeah. It's like, yep, they're catching Raw up and beating them in the demo and all that sort of stuff. But Rampage isn't touching SmackDown in in either ratings by some distance as well but again I think that's more to do with the time that it's on and also it's it's not touching SmackDown in the demographic either yeah no. I think it's really to have to uh, rile up AEW fans to get them to tune in because they want to see SmackDown you know, want to see them beat SmackDown so they're going to tune in just for that reason maybe yeah so I mean what, what, what AEW are now doing is having a buy in on YouTube before SmackDown. Oh yeah, I saw that. Right. Um, Daniel Bryan and, versus someone. Yeah, so it's, it's Daniel Bryan um, against Matt Seidel. Oh no, sorry, um, no. it's CM Punk is fighting Matt Seidel. Seidel, yeah. Yeah, it, it is. Let me just find it. Sorry, um, we're just scrolling through AEW's Twitter now. That Cody Rhodes show can absolutely fuck off. Um, Was it the Go Big Show? No. The roads yeah. ahead, or whatever it's called, roads ahead wow. or something. Yeah, roads at the top. Uh, okay, that's it. Yeah. Yeah. Garbage. Just trying to find. So it's gonna. I think it's gonna be an hour long show or a half hour long show before Rampage actually airs. Um. Here we go. Right. Bobby Fish versus Lee Moriarty. That's gonna be good. Cool. Daniel yeah. Bryan versus Minoru Suzuki. Well, wow, that's pretty free to air on YouTube for fuck's sake. What? Jesus. <laughs> what are you doing, Tony? That is free. <laughs> and, and, and this is this is where this is where having the depth in your roster comes into play. Mm. Doesn't so it? That, so that yeah, <laughs> I mean I mean that is I mean that is to so that's going to be on while Smackdown's on. Yeah. Yes. It's be a hard hitting yeah. match. So, because basically, so if SmackDown's two and a half hours this week, that means it's going to bite into the first half an hour of Rampage. Yeah. Yeah, because that's where the half hour 
um, crossover that, that Tony is. Khan is on about. But then, obviously, if they're having this buy-in before, that's going which to will be, be on yeah, at two in the morning here. That that would be that will if it's an hour long, then yeah, that will that will be the fine. It'll be the second hour of SmackDown. Yeah, so it's on at eight central, and that's the buy-in, and then Rampage is on at nine central. So yeah, it's an hour. it's going to be an hour. Yeah. So yeah, Bobby Fish versus Lee Moriarty and Brian Danielson versus Minoru Suzuki. Free to air <laughs> on YouTube worldwide, which oh, will be oh, during the oh. second hour. It'll be during the second hour of SmackDown. Yeah. Uh, wait. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. 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 Uh, that's crazy. I'll be tuning into that for Daniel for Brian Danielson versus Suzuki. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I'll watch it the next day because it will still be on YouTube by then. So. Of course it yeah, will yeah. be. Yeah. But yeah. obviously, this is an attempt well, to is. counter the fact that SmackDown is going an extra half an hour up yeah. against um, Rampage. Yeah. Yeah. Now, SmackDown this week. What I what is happening here that you can see already is that WWE are trying to combat this. Yeah. Yeah. By announcing things for SmackDown. So this week, Brock's on. Brock's been advertised. Mm-hmm. Um, you've got Sami Zayn versus Finn Balor in the King of the Ring. That'd be good. And it's, yeah, it's it's crazy, really. I mean, you've got other stuff. So I'm just trying to find it. I'm sorry. I know uh, we're recording here, so we're just basically doing this on the fly. But um, it's, yeah, so basically... WWE are basically announcing stuff to combat the fact that uh, that, that yeah they're going up against <laughs> yeah. Rampage and Tony Khan has made a big deal about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Now, what do you think? What do you think to this, Finn? I'm going to start with you. What do you think to these tactics by Tony Khan? Um, obviously, that that's very ballsy <laughs> to say. I can't wait to beat your main show head to head. It's been a long time coming, <laughs> knowing that Rampage has done such shitty numbers since that first week. Yeah, I do think he needs to focus on his own show more, more than the... Since the CM Punk week, sorry. Yeah, yeah, I do think he needs to focus on his own stuff, <laughs> what WWE are doing a bit. Um, as you say, don't Rampage isn't at that level yet. Uh, hopefully eventually, one day, when they figure it out. Um, but I do obviously like the fact we're getting these sensate matches on YouTube for free. Yeah. So if it means more of that, then I'm all for it. <laughs> I think that's probably. I mean, what that is is to they're they're gonna air that to be like for free to be like this is the kind of quality wrestling that we we have on Rampage. Yeah, it so makes sense. Come and watch this. The the big problem for Rampage is um the time that it's on. Yeah, mm. it's very. Late. I think that's what's fucking Rampage here because. Dynamite's yeah. doing great every week now. You yeah. know, it's it's touching touching a million plus on a weekly basis, but where Rampage is not doing well at all. No. I mean, pick it up from yeah, I mean, I guess... earlier. Sorry. Went Thursday night, a couple hours earlier. Who knows? I, I'm guessing people are watching it the day after. Yeah. I don't know. Who knows? On fight or whatever. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, what do you think, Steve? What do you think to Tony Khan's uh, tactics here with this going up against SmackDown? Um, I, just, I, I, I think it's, it's, I dare say, a, a tad immature. Look, okay. you only have to kind of... It just, just look at your own roster. Just remember what you've done over the last few months, i.e. brought all this great talent in taking them from a place where they weren't appreciated into a place where they are appreciated. You're getting lauded across the whole sort of wrestling, you know, landscape for what you're doing. Just let, almost like let the wrestling do the talking, you know, and and you don't need to tweet out that I can't wait to go up against you. Just put this week's rampage is blah, blah, blah. This is what we're doing. This is what time it's on. And then that is enough. That is enough of a mic drop grenade to drop in for yeah. then the internet wrestling community to then go, oh, they've got, look at the match they've got for free and they're eating into SmackDown. It's going to murder it, blah, blah, blah. 
He doesn't need to do that. He doesn't need to stoke the fire anymore by saying, oh, I can't wait to go up against you. It's like, whatever, whatever you whatever you think about where WWE is at the minute or whatever you think about Vince McMahon and all of that, you know, you don't, don't kind of disrespect the old man a little bit. You know, you've got to remember yeah. that the reason – the reason that the likes of Tony Khan are able to do what he's doing now is because of Vince McMahon. And it's yeah. like, have a little, have a little, like, I don't mind a little bit of kind of, you know, a little bit of kind of, oh, it's, uh, it's going to be good to go up against the competition finally, stuff like that. But I, I just think the wording of it was, uh, was, was a bit odd. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit chart. Bit childish, I think. Yeah, it's getting, it's getting a bit cocky, a bit too soon, a bit pe- very, a bit very, a bit, yeah, a bit penisy, um, <laughs> a little bit too soon. Um, <laughs> which you know, it's it is that sense of competition which uh, it does help in some sense, but I think it's it a bit, absolutely does, yeah, yeah. But I think it's a bit too early to be getting, saying getting all cocky, and be like, ah, we're going to beat you, blah blah, because hey, maybe it hasn't been going on for that long. Rampage especially hasn't been going on for that long, so it just needs to. Just wait, just chill. Wait until they get the numbers up. I think if it was Dynamite going up against SmackDown head to head on a Friday night, then maybe yeah. Then I think SmackDown would still beat it, but that's because it's WWE. Yeah. But yeah. I think if it if, if it was Dynamite going up against SmackDown, then okay, talk your shit. Put the <laughs> fucking card. Put you know build that card up. Have Daniel Bryan versus Suzuki on there, you know. Um, and really build that. You could put a ridiculous card together for Dynamite going up against SmackDown. Yeah. But yeah. I think Rampage is still it's still so new. It's like, was it two months old? Yeah. Yeah, yeah probably that. And it's not doing great numbers. So to come out and say, I can't wait to beat your main show yeah. is just a little bit premature, I think. And and like you said, a little bit immature. The thing is, it's you don't have to it's it's basic sort of advertising. It's like, okay, what what's our that it's in any sort of form of whatever you know in the in the food industry, TV, film, whatever. It's like games, you know. Come and come and watch our show. This is what we're doing, you know. Which one entices you more? Just advertise yeah. your show. Just say this Friday we're having this match, this match, this match, and also you're going to get this free on YouTube. Yeah. Yeah, and then and that should be go, enough, shouldn't it? And I mean, that should be enough. That should got, be enough. Yeah, I mean, you've got Definitely. CM Punk versus Matt Seidel on Rampage this week, which is great. Yeah, yeah. I awesome. can't wait to see that. Yeah. I love watching CM Punk wrestle on Friday nights. I think it's awesome. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And if, if privately Tony Khan is saying that to you know his mates or Cody Rhodes or whoever, and saying, oh, "I can't wait! I can't wait to see how we do in that half hour." That's that's great. That's how you want to be. That's I mean that's that's being competitive in a, in a business sense. But to tweet it is a little bit like, come on now. Yeah. yeah. I think it's the wording of it that made me sort of think, and I th- made me tweet out that, yeah, there's ballsy, but I don't think this is what's going to happen. And, and I, yeah, I mean, I think as well with, with a tweet, very much like a text, like an email, like anything, you you can read it differently. Of course. You, yeah. you read it differently to how it may have been intended. So he may have been typing that out on his phone presumably uh and and in his head he's being quite jovial you know i can't wait to, for this to happen it's going to be really interesting but we've read it as him being a bit of a cock basically. well i think it's i think that's exactly how it was meant though P- potentially it was potentially it was and and there's a very good chance of that but you know we we don't know what tone no, it was right. meant to be and and things like tweets and texts and emails anything in yeah. a text format can be can be misinterpreted because people put a different tone to it. But yeah, just don't I, I don't don't think it was needed. Just advertise your show, you know, keep promoting your great promotion that you've got. Yeah. Um and keep bringing in these great wrestlers and doing great work with them and you will reap the rewards in the long run. But you know, have a have a have a little bit of respect, I guess. I think, you know, have a little bit of have a little bit of tact. Yeah. Perhaps. You know, I, I really love AEW. Uh, and I think Tony Khan has done a wonderful job with it. I could still do without the slide digs at WWE. Um, yes, yes. But because I don't think it's needed. 
Um, you know, at the start, you know, it was new, it was it was fresh and all that sort of stuff. And they wanted to establish themselves as, you know, a rival to the WWE. Yeah, Cody was they, especially they, bad with it at the start. They're like, come on, yeah, get around late, late in the year yet. Yeah, just calm down. <laughs> like smashing the throne and all that sort of stuff. Yeah. But, you know, you know, AEW's grown. It feels like it's grown up. And, you know, now it, it has established itself as a rival to WWE. Yeah. And yeah. it is. But it's still very much in its infancy. Big time. Rampage is basically, you know, pulling in similar or worse numbers to what NXT is at the minute. Um, but yeah, they're on different days or whatever. It's fine. So probably that's a poor comparison. But that, I'm, that's, I'm just sort of using it as a numbers thing. Whereas SmackDown is pulling in two and a half million viewers every week. Mm. Every week. Yeah, I mean this, the, the the time the time that Rampage is on is probably like we've already said it's probably that's the history. If, if, well, because if, if you imagine, well, our biggest gripe with Raw is that it's three hours. Okay, mm-hmm. so on a Friday, if you live in if you live in in America and you are able to watch it at a reasonable time compared to to how we can in the, in this country, you would sit there watch two hours of SmackDown and then think, can I be asked to watch an hour of Rampage? Now I'll go to bed and I'll catch it in the morning, yeah. or I'll DVR it. Yeah, yeah I'll, I'll whatever you know. I'll do you know because it's that kind of even as wrestling, even as a wrestling fan, I, I think I'd be like, I got to watch one or the other. I can't watch both back to back. So you know, maybe a change of time, a change of day, like Finn said, uh, might see the numbers get better. Maybe if it goes to a two-hour show, long long term as well, might see it do better numbers. Um, but go, yeah, going back to the original point, it's yeah, yeah, not needed. I mean, I mean during that half an hour, SmackDown's running commercial free. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. 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 Um, you know, so there's some there's some good stuff advertised for SmackDown. It's not. Yep. Yeah, okay. If it's on a different net, if it's on FS1, that's a premium channel that perhaps not you know wrestling fans don't subscribe to. Then yeah, yeah. it might be a little closer this week. But Rampage will not beat SmackDown in the ratings this week. No. It just won't. And it'd be interesting to see. And it'd be interesting to see Tony Khan's reaction to it because I I want I want I well, firstly I want to see if he will react to it and what he'll say. Yeah. Because, you know, I can I, I, I would put my house on the fact that Rampage won't beat SmackDown in the ratings. Yeah. Could it next week saying, uh, well, they, it looks like... they'll, they'll do something that, yeah. Yeah, sorry, thing gone. I was going to say, cut to next week saying how, uh, Rampage uh, beats SmackDown. <laughs> and also he's sitting <laughs> his house and, uh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But, yeah, of the <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but you just, yeah, it might be closer this week because if FS1 does, you know, 700,000 viewers or whatever, um, but it depends what's on the channel at that time for people to be watching it. Yeah, you know, yeah. not you know. I, I I watch Sky Sports when the football's on, but if some if if there's nothing on at ten o'clock at night that I want to watch, then I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. if I am if I have FS1, and you know, as part of my TV package, and SmackDown has just moved channel, then I'll just migrate to that channel. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah. whereas Rampage is on the same place every week. Mm. So even if even if Rampage did beat SmackDown this week, if it did, that that them numbers aren't going to reflect every week, are they? No, no, and and that's going to be and that's going that's all you're going to see next week. You're going to see things like, well, actually, yes, you beat us overall, but in that half hour overlap, we beat you and blah, blah, blah. we beat we you with the this, demographic. Blah, 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 we blah, got blah. this demographic in that half an hour, and actually, you can't count the SmackDown one because it was on a premium channel. And oh, it's just fucking <laughs> bullshit. I don't want to say I'm like like the whole ratings thing. This is like, why I don't like. This is why I don't like. I, I, this I, I guess. Stuff. I, I, yeah, it's it's nonsense. I love the competition. Such... I love because yeah, it's making it's bring, WWE... it's bringing out the best. It's bringing out the, the best in both yeah. of them, isn't it? You know, and it, and I think it's quite funny that you know. Tony Khan's done what he's done with with Rampage this week, and then WWE have reacted and said, "All right, well, we'll we'll go half an hour longer." And guess what? Brock's coming. And then, and then, like, yeah, and then it's almost kind of like, 
the master and the apprentice. You know, you got Tony Khan there going, ah, we're going to do this. And Vince is like, yeah, I've been there, done that. I'll tell you what, we'll just make it ad free for half an hour. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think of that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. It's like, don't, you know, don't bullshit a bullshitter. You know, Vince has yeah. been there and done it. <laughs> and look, um, as for, for as shit as WWE is, Vince does very well under, you know, when there's competition in his way. Yeah. He proved this in the 90s. Yep, he's a lot older and his ideas are a lot shitter these days. But, you know, it's still Vince McMahon at the end of the day. And, you know, you see you see Tony Khan's tweet and then, you know, his you know, reaction to it and what he's doing. And then WWE start advertising stuff. It's like, it, it's still WWE. Yeah. Regardless of what, as a pro wrestling fan, you think of WWE... This is still WWE, and WWE can flex their WWE muscles and bring people in and put matches on when they want to. WWE can be shit hot. Yeah. So if you want to fight WWE as AEW Rampage on free on YouTube, then okay, do that. But then WWE will just go flex their WWE muscles and, you know, pull in the numbers because they always do. It's WWE. Yeah, you know. So going back yeah. to the original point and question, I think Tony Khan was very premature and immature to suggest that they can beat SmackDown. Yeah, this week because it won't. Yeah, yeah. Can... yeah, yeah let me say this: the the YouTube show will do really well. Quite, of course, it will. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it might. Will it do well live? Or will it do well afterwards? Because it's always, like you said, it's going to be there in the morning. Exactly, yeah. yeah. It's going to yeah. be there in the morning. Um, and Rampage, um, it depends what's on the last half an hour of SmackDown. But, it, you know, is is CM Punk versus Matt Seidel better than Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch? Or whatever it is. Mm. Like you have to act, that's a genuine question. Yeah. Um yeah, it's hard to say because some people will say, Oh yeah, easily seeing punk. Other people will say, Oh yeah, Bianca Belair. It depends who you are, what kind of burst what kind of bursting fan you are, I suppose. But yeah. It, the, but th- that goes back to the point of there's something for everybody. Exactly, yeah. Yeah. But in the grand scheme of things, CM Punk's wrestled the last few a dino- uh, few rampages. Mm-hmm. Didn't do well in the ratings any time. Yeah. Or in no. the demo against SmackDown. But again, it's WWE, it's SmackDown. Now, is CM Punk wrestling Matt Seidel, who was in WWE 10 years ago? Maybe more. Um, Is that better than Becky Lynch, who is one of the hottest superstars in WWE, against one of the hottest rising stars and former champion Bianca Belair, if that is the match? I'm assuming it is, but Mm, I don't know. Something like that, yeah. It is something like that, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. Um, I think so, yeah. You know, is what AEW is offering from a wrestling standpoint? Yeah, it probably is better. Yeah, I, yeah. Would, I would want to see CM Punk wrestle Lee Moriarty more than I want to see Bianca Belair versus Becky Lynch. But for the, you know, is that a bigger? Is, is it a bigger draw for everybody? Mm. Yeah, probably not. Say, yeah, I think is. I think what will be interesting as well is that. With that first hour, that buy-in being on YouTube, there's more. There's more than one way to consume your your media these days. Yeah. So you could do what I tend to do sometimes when there is a clash in sports that I want to watch, and one sports on the TV and the other ones on my laptop or my iPad. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so some some people will have watch both. Sm- yeah. Have SmackDown on the TV watching that while that's on and they'll have their laptop or an iPad or a tablet open YouTube watching the Brian Danielson. And it's, uh, you know, people will find a way to watch both, but then that just kind of, so that's why it pisses me off when they talk about figures because it's like, yeah, but who cares? How do you, how do, who you know. cares? It's like they could have been watching it all at the same time and that's so nonsense. Yeah. Yeah. And you're right in that. There is so many different ways now to consume media and watch yeah. media. You know? Sometimes yeah. if I'm too tired to stay up, I'll take my iPad up to bed and watch SmackDown on my iPad in bed if I'm still awake. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah. Do, I, do I, I, tend to, I tend to do that with pay-per-views now. Do I then... It's, yeah, same. Do I then count towards the viewing figures? I don't even know. I mean, does it yeah. just come from my set-top box downstairs or... You know, yeah, <laughs> don't know. Don't know. the long and short of it is don't shoot your bolt before, um, before the big game, yes, yeah, yeah. Too big hey, look, SmackDown will be good and Rampage will be good, yeah, yeah, but I think I'll take it best link. Rampage Tony Khan with Rampage needs to walk before he can run, yeah, yeah chill out. CM Punk, as great as he is, he's. He's not going to win you the the ratings war on his own. Yeah, it's already starting to lose. And the amazing as it is, it's still starting to lose its luster every week, a little bit. It is. It, it, it absolutely is. Yeah. And that was happening a few weeks ago, I think. Yeah. CM Punk. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, it's yeah. still huge. It's still amazing. I think by, but it's I think by the third or fourth amazing. time that he came out, it was like, uh, yeah, yeah. We, had, we had the moment. We had the people crying and, and the amazing pop and all that. Still amazing, yeah. but it's kind of like, yeah, yeah. Um, I I still love it. It's great that he's back, but oh, you are right in what you're saying. Of course, that luster is gonna it's gonna go, isn't it? Mm. It's gonna, yeah. You know, it's it, it's you know it's it's gonna change. The reaction's gonna change. You know that that's just natural. Yeah. Um. So to keep having CM Punk wrestle on a Friday night isn't going to instantly guarantee you the ratings that you think you're gonna get. No. So I think he's a little naive in that sense. He thinks he's just going to sort of win people over just by putting these guys on, and that isn't the case. Yeah. Yeah. If it was CM Punk versus Kenny Omega, fucking hell, it's a no-brainer, isn't it? Jesus Christ! Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, there's only one show that you watch, yeah. and I'm sure we'll get there at some point. But you oh, know, I'm sure we will. Um... But you know, again, you need to build to it, don't you? You know, it's not you. just as simple as oh, we're just going to because otherwise, if you do that. And you you throw that match together just for the sake of going up against SmackDown, for example, then you're losing the whole point of your whole ranking system and everything. Yeah. So you have to do. It properly, and, 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 but... when, and, and when that does happen, when we do get to a stage where it's CM Punk versus Kenny Omega or CM Punk versus uh, I don't know someone else, um, where you're like, holy shit, yeah, where you yeah, where you're like, holy shit, that's the show to watch. It doesn't need to be backed up by Tony Khan tweeting. No. Uh, we're going to piss all over you this week. And, uh, it just needs to be dream match this Friday: CM Punk versus uh, Kenny Omega. Yep, simple as that. Mm, yeah, well, it's like Don't when um, let your wrestling when... do the talking. But this is again. This is this. This is Tony Khan. This is quite a Tony Khan thing to happen because do you remember when he was tweeting about um, Fulham and um, the the players not playing well on a, whichever game it was, and then Roy Keane. On Sky, called him out for it. Yeah, 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 yeah. So this is this isn't a new thing. This isn't just no, us no. ripping AEW. We're not ripping on AEW. We're we're sort no, of having no. a go at the tactics that Tony Khan is employing here to try and um, get people to watch AEW over SmackDown. Now, of course, you know competition yeah. is competition or whatever. But you know Tony Khan has got previous by yeah, yeah, was... sort of you know criticizing yeah. the way that Fulham were playing and. You know, Roy Keane then going, owners should stick to their job and yeah. own, yeah. And the not run the tweet and run, the bi- and run the business. Yeah, yeah, because otherwise you look like a fucking idiot. Well, to be fair, I don't even think he owns Fulham. It's his dad. Oh. Yeah, but he was the one. I think he has so a lot he, more to do with it than his dad. I th- I th- yeah, poten- potentially, probably the, like, the day-to-day. But yeah, you just don't... I mean that that's a whole different thing around. Of course, it is yeah. between football and the football and wrestling. It's like you can maybe get away with it in wrestling because it is entertainment, whereas like football is like just piss off. Let, let <laughs> like you, you don't know football. You know, you're just a very rich person that owns a football team. Yeah, um, you shouldn't be tweeting about how bad the players are. And yeah, stuff like that. But, but that, it's a that's similar, a whole different thing. It's a, similar it's a very sort of similar. Situation. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's almost like a. You know, oh, well, I, I did it for this and I did it for that, and he's probably done it with the with the NFL team at the end. Probably, yeah. So, but yeah, just, just call me tits, Tony. <laughs> <laughs> that's all we're saying. Yeah. For the last half I, hour, I mean, that's all we were saying. <laughs> yeah, you don't. You, yeah. You almost don't want it to be the undoing of AEW. You know, like right, where yeah. people where people sour on it because they're like, yeah, well, that guy's a dickhead. 
we don't we, we don't want to watch it. We don't look at the state of him. We don't want to we don't want to watch it like because we, we're sick of his antics. Yeah. Um, and that can happen. We've seen it in WWE. It's yeah, like people, it can happen. For people sure. soured on people soured on WWE because every week it was all about the bloody McMahon's and everything. Yeah. You're like, oh, I'm sick of this now. I'm not going to just give me some matches. You know, I don't yeah. need you know like the first hour of Raw that wouldn't even be a match. You're like, what's going on? Yeah, I'm yeah. watching a wrestling show or pantomime. What's going on? Yeah, that's it. But you know, I look forward to watching both shows, and I will do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, um, but I just think. Yeah, the long and short of it is there's a better way we can go about it. But that's it, you know? That's all, that's all there really is to say about it. Yeah. Well, look, we've kept people listening for two hours and five minutes. Most of it was nonsense, but some of it was good. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Good. Good, good, good. Some Great of it stuff. was genuinely good stuff. Good episode. Yeah. But yeah good. Um, a good 5% was genuinely good. <laughs> yeah. yeah, 5% of this show was actually good quality stuff. Yeah. But, you know, tweeters... Hit us up on Facebook, on Instagram, or wherever. Just let us know what you, you know, let us know your opinion. You're not wrong. <laughs> We're not going to say that you're wrong, even if you are wrong. <laughs> even if you are absolutely wrong. Yeah. I'm going to tell you that. Even <laughs> if you are wrong, and compared to our opinion, we won't, but you're yeah. entitled to it, even if it's wrong, okay? <laughs> yeah. I, hate, I hate your opinion, but you're wrong. Yeah, we, <laughs> we, we respect your opinion, but you're incorrect. That's okay. Mm. You're breaking nice. But no, seriously, <laughs> guys, hit us up on social media. Let us know what you think to uh, what we've been talking about during the course of this show, whether it's the gaming stuff, whether it's the wrestling stuff, whether it was how impossibly difficult Steve's quiz was. <laughs> um, just hit us up at Games and Grabs, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. Um, but for now, this has been episode 156 of the Games and Grabs podcast. We are a weekly video game and wrestling podcast that posts every single week, except when we take annual leave across podcast services. Everywhere. 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 And youtube.com forward slash games wraps. We'll be back next week with episode 157. My name is Sunny G here with Finn Steele. Goodbye. And Steve. See you later. We will indeed see you next week. Take it easy, guys. Goodbye. Thanks so much. Goodbye.